All right. All right. Yuri Kov Yuri playing Kov, Luang, Diaphone. Yuri, and Mei Tang Kun against Diaphone. And the Dolores comes out here. Uh -uh. I don't think we've seen his Do Dolores come out on stream yet. Uh, not At least not today. Yeah, I don't think we've seen it. But if anyone is going to be able to get to it, Yuri Kov. Ooh, wow. Yeah, for Already sure. I mean, this guy Yurikov. I feel like um, I heard Diaphone say on his stream that Yurikov gave him a lot of trouble in 14, back in the 14 days. So yeah. we'll see if he's able to continue. I mean, he's definitely come into his own strength, Diaphone, in the last couple of years. But uh, Yurikov definitely a formidable opponent. Yeah, for sure. I like that was the a great usage one. of. I like the air fireball usage here. But I've been wondering how Air Fireball is going to work against Shatter Strike. But, you know, if you're running away with it, you know, it's not a bad idea. Hey. Nice conversion from Diaphone. And nice. Baits out the DP and punishes accordingly. Good stuff. Diaphone taking the point ward. I can't remember if it was in the Africa event last night or it was just match videos. But I saw someone using Kara CD Shatter Strike. And that, that's kind of wild. Nice mix-up there. And chases down the roll, gets the throw into another mix-up, and this should be curtains for the Athena. Ooh. Doing it for the culture. Yeah, I love her animations. They're really great. Hell yeah. She's just a baddie. You gotta watch out. <laughs> right. Nice Shatter Strike anti-air, and this is going to be a lot of damage. Diaphone was definitely lighting this stuff out. Great air to air. Has her in the corner and really just oppressing her right now. Hey, damage. What's the mix? Ooh. Could have got the low on the walk back there. Nice roll, though. Good challenge, though, from Diaphone. This is looking really good right now. Great air to air. Hey, checked again. Yeah, Yurikov, I think, was expecting throw. a run-up throw and stood yeah. up in the middle of that string. Which you're not supposed, you're not allowed to do that. Not against Vanessa. That character, she can convert a low yes. light into a full combo from like so far away. It's kind of crazy. True. Her and King, especially. Sometimes you want to take that throw. Nice. Throws Vanessa now into the corner. And this is uh, Yurikov's time to shine. Nice combo. Wow, I didn't know she, he gets all that. That's crazy. Big boy damage. Don't sleep on my boy. Nice dash punch. That's really the only... Oh my god, the Hail Mary. Go in. And two bars on the table. This is gonna hurt. Is this gonna kill? Ah, I think it might. One pixel? No, death. Oh my goodness. Yo, the Hail Mary Shatter Strike from Diaphone. Taking that first game. Wow, what a statement. Yo, you, you, you have demons from an old game? Pick a top tier. Just pick a top tier. They, they don't have time to adapt in a week, you know? That's true. And Yurikov, uh, I'm not sure how much he's been able to play against a Vanessa. Because um, he's, I mean, last week he wasn't able to play very much. He was at a wedding in Hawaii, apparently. So, yeah. Hasn't had as much time to grind, but I'm not trying to make any excuses for this guy. This guy, he knows his KOF, so yeah, he, sh he should be ready. I mean, he can have excuse. It's week one. Whatever. You sure, don't need sure. an excuse week one. Just come back next week. Exactly. My mindset. Wow, that was a crazy roll from Diaphone, but it worked out. So far, 15 seconds have passed and not very much damage has been done. Nice, this is a big opportunity now for Diaphone. Mix up, but good defense from Yurikov. Aye, the cross up D. Re really good hitbox on that. Great block from Diaphone, and now we're back to neutral. Oh my goodness, the whipped DP. Uh uh. Pretty tense situation. Anything could happen still. Both these characters. I mean, Yuri is a very explosive character. Oh my gosh. Athena running. Not much time on the clock. What a grab. 
Oh my god, and he gets the cross-up jump D at the very last second. That's crazy. Yeah, the scrambles were real there. You know, off that uh, close D, Athena was looking good, but Yurikov getting that BNB in there with the B. Big tech from Diathon. Wow. Just evens it up right, just like that. But the meter situation, the health situation is basically the same, so really uh, neck and neck right now. Oh, good block on the Shatter Strike. Looks like he isn't aware of how to punish it. I mean, tr punishing those is very tricky, so it's something that everybody's gonna need to go into the lab and figure out. Yeah, I mean, it's like generally around negative eight, but if you're max distance, so oh, good luck. Exactly, yeah. Nice throw. Puts her into the mix up yet again. A nice challenge from Diaphone, but it doesn't matter. He gets hit, but this is not gonna kill. Trade. Oh my gosh, he could have killed off of that. You don't want to let this guy live. You saw what happened last time. Oh, the oh no. Not like this. Okay, yeah. yeah. Spends the bar to do it. But holy cow, like he all he had to do was run up and press CD again after he got the wall splat, but nope. Yeah, Vanessa just needs one EX bar to party. Alright, we get to see the Dolores. Here she is. Finally, Her climax yeah. hurts. Ooh, the pressure though. CD stands canceling. Gets the D grab. What a cross up. Again. Wow. Kind of a crazy offensive. Scene. Oh my goodness. That down C anti air taking all the momentum out of Yuri Top's game. But hold up. We're back in the corner. Nice pressure, but the trade. Long. Crossing up for days. Great defense so far from Diaphone. Uh oh. Has to block another mix up. Doesn't block it this time. That time he does. Oh, but doesn't matter. He's uh, Yurikov was still plus and managed to sneak in some lows on the other side. So wow, it's now tied up one one. Yeah, I mean, we got the the two character victory on both ends here. So I don't know what's gonna happen here on the game three, except that Yurikov has the momentum. Yeah, it looks like Diaphone's taking a little bit of time to think about it. Also, uh, Diaphone is streaming his tournament run. So if you guys want to watch. From his perspective, you, you can definitely do that as well. Yeah, and he's definitely someone that's all about teaching. So, you know, you can definitely see how he learns these games coming through this, and he can help approach it to you too. But you give him some time right now. It's a tough set. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Follow him, though. All right, going into it. Game three. Looks like he's uh, sticking with the same team as before. I think he just wanted a little extra time to think about things. Yeah, I mean, this is the get into the grand finals. So you might as well use the time allotted to the players to you know, think finals. about it. Yeah, winner's finals. <laughs> In the winner's finals, yeah, sorry about that. You know, uh, Get Your Tournament did an article way back that talked about players that took too long generally lost, but people that took about a minute and then went back into it, you know, usually did pretty well. Interesting. I'll have to remember that. I don't want to overthink it. Nice DP, challenging the run up. Oh, no, yo, right back at you. Good jump over the fireball. So far, it looks like Yurikov is trying to play, you know, that signature Yuri of his where he just tries to approach you from strange angles that you're not really expecting. But so far, Diaphone has been doing a pretty good job defending. Yeah, getting a lot of the run-unders or using the low profileness. Oh, not a big punish, though. Yeah, that was quite unfortunate. Now he's going to be paying for it. Yup. And all these techs on the jump is very nice. Whoa. The pressure's on wow. trades with the uppercut. That's Yuri. crazy. That uppercut is actually so ass. That's, I thought he they improved it from 14, too, is, is what's funny, but it's still yeah. kind of ass. But Legacy has been kind of ass. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm just saying. Vanilla 98, kind of trash. Oh, absolutely. That thing, like, they would jump right over it. You know what I mean? Like, it yeah, would, exactly. It's so long. And Oofy, they helped it. Ooh. 
But this is, I think, Diaphone's strongest character, in my opinion, is his Vanessa. So if he can get, yes, get her out of here. Nice. Hey, what a reset. And that's the lab monster Diaphone I know of. Yeah, that was really tricky. Um, Yurikov certainly got opened up by it. Yo, but this long... It, last game, Diaphone looked kind of like he didn't know what to do against... Oh my goodness! And here we go. There you go. He, he definitely has to use more of that lunge punch in this matchup. Because Luong has to scout it with the low shot, you know? When she's out of this one. Guys... Keep in mind, every single time Monk gets a throw, you have to eat like a really scary mix-up, you know? So, this, oh my god. Cleaned up. And it's looking really good for Yurikov, especially Vanessa's off the table and didn't do any damage. Yeah. I mean, Dolores is a problem, but you know, not much meter on the table for her to really get started now. Yeah, it looked like Diaphone was just getting really flustered by the way that Yurikov was playing. Man, some relentless pressure from, like you said, angles that if you're not used to, you're gonna take hits. A lot of times you're gonna wanna, you know, back roll, reassess your spacing, get to a sweet spot. But try not to get cornered. Nice sweep though from Diaphone. Diaphone really needs to find some a time to go on offense though, because right now he's just fighting on the back foot. Yup. Clean up super. Not quite enough yet. Daifun still has a chance, but oh my goodness, it's not looking good. And he gets thrown for the win. Yurikov advancing 2 1 over Diaphone into winners' finals. Yeah, in the grand. I mean, winners' finals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep thinking grand. <laughs> I mean, kind of expected, though. As the veteran and person that's already hot winning a tournament at NLBC offline, you know? Yeah, I mean, they're both veterans if you think about it, but Yurikov, I think, um, you know, historically he's had better results against Diaphone than vice versa, so it's not yeah. terribly surprising, like you said. Hey, so real quick, Definitely. fellas, I want to thank all the people that have been donating and supporting because we got quite a few of you Ooh. guys that have been helping out. I also want to remind you all, if you have a bit, we haven't talked about it in a while, but we really want you to support tonight's crowdfund and help them out. So far, we have received $393, which is a great prize pool to help out the top three as well as support for next level. You can keep on contributing with your subs like you've all been doing. Thank you so much, everybody, for all the subscriptions, including, including Fart Bath, you with the crazy name again. Thanks for the sub, my friend, and the, and the support. Uh, thank you to your longer with the big 100, K97 with the 65, Cornelius, Ice Wolf, Sir Bumblebee, Potato Player, Sin Wave, all the subs of Team Spooky so far. Thanks, y'all. Free Zenny, also up in there, Party Barge, Ten of Clubs, and many more. Appreciate you all, everybody. Uh, the top eight's going to continue in just a little bit. Stick around if you want to watch it. We're going to do them more back to back as quick as we can. And uh, thanks a lot. Enjoy the rest. Select members. A battle unlike any other in history is about to Yo, thank you, EMP PogChamp, with the Prime as well. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thanks to everybody. So, winner semis number two is coming up in just a moment. Everybody, stick around. If y'all want to see it, it should be exciting, just like the last one you just saw. This one's going to be Juan KOF uh, versus Lapis. Yep, KCO Pedro. This is gonna be a good one, folks. You don't want to go anywhere. Juan's been doing some damage today. He's already taken down two legends, even though Aru, you know, playing himself down here. But uh, you know, Yo, sorry, can he take man. one more to get in the winners' finals? Yeah, I mean, Juan KOF. Uh, he's been playing really well today, so pretty excited to watch this set. Hell yeah. Stop this show. Wait, who did Lapis beat in uh, to get into top eight? Uh, that was... Oh, I'll check snap. for you right now. Hold on. So Lapis defeated Merkilo. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we saw that one on stream. What the Round one. Ready? All right, long versus Chris. Will the trade with the CD off the start? Nice air to air. Definitely uh, Lapis' turn right now. Another great air to air. Ooh, the cross. Chris, coming in. And you could kind of option select against uh, the air attack. Because technically you'll be in block zone on his other attacks. So there's certain 
things you can do to always make sure you get the air follow up. Gotcha. I'll have to lab that. Oh, almost got a nice low profile. Nice. It's the anti air. Both of you guys just kind of playing good KOF right now. Nice. Catches him. This, that's the situation I was talking about earlier when Juan was playing Chris on stream, where it's like after that special move, it's like plus minus one or so, minus two. So yeah, uh, the slide attack. Yeah, man. The slide and kick you. It's scary enough on block, and he got on hit. So like, if you hit buttons after that, good luck. Exactly. Yeah, and that's exactly what happened. So Hoppy's uh, kind of on the back foot now. Oh my goodness. We got $400, folks, for the match arena. Let's get the 420.69 for the me. Easy. Great combo from Juan KOF. And right now, this Benny Mara is just getting mauled. Nice air to air from Juan KOF. Wow, working on an OCV here with this Chris. But Lapis now has to bring out that Yori. What is the problem? Great air there yet again. Right. Universe of the super, what's the setup? Cross again. That's the wow. second time it's hit. Dude, Lapis is having a lot of trouble blocking. Oh, there we go. Big opportunity. He really needs to make this count. And Chris is really good. I mean, he always is. But... Yeah, for sure. To think that if a Roshi comes out, he's probably going to be better. That's scary. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. You think they're going to give him a proximity unblockable? I don't know, actually. If they got him. Oh, nice. That was so smart. You know My theory is they're just going to give us a patch with EX characters eventually. You know? Ah, yeah, okay. That's me being copium out. I hope so, because I mean, I really miss those characters. I want EX Robber, baby. Ooh. Wow. Great. Wow. Yo, Juan KOF, he's just moving really well right now, placing the buttons where they need to be placed. So, Lappy is really, uh, I think he's going to need to go back to the wrong board and figure something out before this next game. Yeah, honestly, just the neutral game's really good, staying in the sweet spots and just walling up, not really letting him play. And then, as we saw before, you know, one on the barre situations of Chris, you know, getting those turns on block, on hit, and then getting the cross-ups post-confirmations, regardless, just playing great. Like, if if you're winning on hit or block, and you're letting the setups after, and you're in good space, you should have lose. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But uh, Lapis's Long was actually doing really well uh, last game until the Chris really just started to run away with it. And this is kind of what I'm seeing right now. Sometimes you gotta roll out that mix. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just have to be okay with like giving up ground sometimes. Nice! Good challenge from Lapis. Yeah, this is looking a lot better than last time already. Damn. Great air to air. Has Chris in the corner now. It's definitely his turn. Great sequence Overhead. so far from Lapis. Oh no! One bad jump and Juan KOF reverses the situation. Oh my goodness, the punish. One back in there. This character, man, Christopher. He's only gonna have around like, what? Yeah, like 10% though? That'd be hard. Fifteen percent Great DP from Juan KOF. Oh my lord. Yeah, it's looking like uh, Lapis is just having a lot of trouble getting, pinning this Chris down, getting some actual damage on him. He's getting a few straight hits here and there, but I mean, it's so hard to hit this guy. Right? We even see him doing the core circle four days, but Juan's finding a way to get around the active frames. He's playing really well right now. Ooh, nice roll! Oh, there it is. It finally gets a hit. Whew, there we go. Okay, so we finally got rid of the problem, but man, this is yet another problem about to come in. 
This guy's Ralph is pretty good. I know, from experience. <laughs> hey, this is a character that everyone's Ralph can potentially be good. You get, you got, you can't sleep on this character. That's true, but I think Quan is particularly uh, pretty good at Ralph. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, like me coming from CBS too, I gotta respect any Sika. Like, you know? That's true. So if, I, if, if I sleep on someone just because of the character, nah, I'm gonna get friggin' mauled. Yeah, you see a lot of these going for a lot of like Hatter Strikes against this character Ralph, but um, so far they haven't really worked out so much for him. No punish though. Guard bar, willing down. And Ralph has two bars on deck, that could be it. Oh, oh, Max no. confirmed. Yeah, this is done. Oh, gets him into the corner too, unfortunate, yeah. Fawn taking it 3-0 over Lucky. Incredible. You'll want going into the winners finals, and definitely not a pick a lot of people would have guessed on. So you know, mad props bringing it with the KOF name. They've been here all along, baby. Yeah, playing exceptionally well right now. He's going to be playing against Yurikov eventually. But before we get to that, though, we got some losers matches to get to take care of. Do, do we know where Juan's from? He's actually from California. Oh, cool, nice. Hell yeah. Is, is NorCal or SoCal? I want to say SoCal. I, I'm not sure. Maybe I remember I looking at his Twitter profile a little while ago, and then I'm pretty sure it's SoCal. Shit. Cool. I like it. Respect. I mean, SoCal got mad killers, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, for sure. One of the strongest regions in the, in the U.S., for sure. If not the strongest, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'll say... Coming from someone that's played in Cali and went to Chinatown, a lot of Chinatown Fair's greatest players, I don't think, have come back out since. So like, I don't. Maybe they're just online or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's so, true. Um, I don't. I never see any like the, any Chinese people um, playing the newer games. You know. Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't know. Good question. You know, Bala's played in both coasts, so he probably knows the real answer. We yeah, probably. Bala. If they ever let him back in. I mean, it, it's been like 10 years. He hopefully come back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That... We missed you, Bala. Bro, hearing that just aged me so, so bad. Yeah, dog, you getting old. I used to be the baby. I ain't no more, bro. I'm the boomer now. That's so wild to me, dude. <laughs> But, you know, this this bracket's still underway. We're in this final. We're in this top eight, right? Yeah, what's good, everybody? Uh, so we got to remake the lobby one more time, it looks like, because it looks okay. like it's stuck, okay? So let's get that done, yeah, and that's... then I'll feed you guys the codes and all that so you can jump in. Just give me a moment. Thank you, everybody, for all the support. By the way, in the meantime, don't forget to support the match with your crowdfund. If you're able to, you can still find the bracket in the chat. Just use the command exclamation point bracket, and the bot will link it to you, and you can check it all out, whatever you need. Shouts to all the boomers. I first fe fell in love with this game at Good Times Arcade in Boston in like 2000, playing CBS One. Fell in love with KOF and Garo there. So shouts to all the Boston community. Also, guys, if you guys um, are feeding for some more KOF action, pull up a multi Twitch, put us on on there, and also have um, Game Goons. Game Goons, they're running a first to ten exhibition between Reynald and uh, Dechimo, and these. Oh yeah. Two incredibly, incredibly high skill players right now. Um, it's true. Check that out. Reynolds is the Evo, one of the Evo champs for the game, and you know, multi-game specialist. And Dechimo is like the rising star of KOF 14, and he plays a specialist team. He plays Kukri, Angel, and Keo. Originally, he plays Geese, so he's in the waiting room, no doubt. But gonna be a good set and they did a preview last night and Dechimo won by like a pixel three two so it should be good cool hey uh josh hey, I'll, i put the code in the the thing i'll also put in the other room too cool. if you need it again to jump back in sorry that i didn't give it to you asap i keep forgetting to no, no, no. copy to that room for you looking it up right now oh my bad. got it 
All right, cool. So I'm moving, and now I'm on my coffee break, and we're going to get it all set up in just a moment already for the next match. Thank you for the wait, everyone at home. I'm uh, coming in. Cool. My bad. I might have done that too quick, but... Oh, no, you good. Select members. If it I wonder starts, how good the spectate... We got yeah. The yeah, I wonder how, how good the spectate catches up. Does it let you catch up if they start, or you got to wait till the second game? Uh, I'm not, oh, I'm not in. I'm, yeah, I gotta wait. Oh no, so I gotta wait till they they're done with the whole set. I feel oh, like. Oh, okay. They go back because I think this happened to us before, but Understood. it doesn't matter. I, I'm watching through Discord, so okay. no biggie. Got you. Well, if you need anything, let me know. In the meantime, guys, we're gonna start it up soon. Uh, the first match of losers. Select order. This should be crazy. Dude, yeah, dying dog. Yeah, we got Merkelo versus El Rosa, both really incredible players. So. And Elrosa starting uh, Kula this this time around, so it seems Ooh. like he just likes her. Very nice. Get ready for a battle of I mean, Dino versus Mai doesn't sound fun. <laughs> I'm yeah, real. I agree. <laughs> Jump CD and and Fan and Stan B. You might be able to trade with some of those stand Bs, but damn, it doesn't sound fun. Yeah, I mean, it feels like for anti-airing, he'd probably just have to like get a good read with like a back A using the armor to go through like the jump CD. Yeah. I don't know. Ready? I like or it. just air to air. But yo, El Rosa is going right in. <laughs> right? Like jump CD. Very flat. Nice 5A, but coming in with the Tatsu. Nice challenge using the EFDM to start up really quickly. Yeah, it's pretty safe on block, too. Nice DP from El Rosa. He's definitely just waiting for it. Ooh, nice check. That Kula stand B, what a button, man. Every single game. Right? And oh, chipping out with the light DP. Okay. Good stuff. Damn. Very. Oh, now this character's a problem. That jump D is incredibly good. Oh, nice DP challenge on the uh, string there. Right. Reversal getting checked though, and the stand CD snowman. Oh, that was almost certainly a missed input. And El Rosa being merciful didn't do as much damage as he could have. Right. Yo, you see his spacing? He's just playing right outside of the spacings that Merkelo wants to cover with oh. his attacks. All these instant overheads, incredible. Yeah, this is just looking really good. Like textbook Kula play from Elrosa. The pressure is on. Ah, nice challenge with the 2B. Just keep throwing them out, one will hit. That wasn't so bad from Merkelo. It seemed like he was getting his rhythm near the end of it, so hopefully uh, his Terry is able to turn things around. Nice. Doesn't punish the DP though, it's unfortunate. That, that is a little bit difficult to punish. Hi. Pretty good damage. I like that he saved the bar, because he's going to need that to make this comeback. Definitely. Really made the play there too, so all coming out. Yeah. But this is El Rosa's uh, signature character, right? So, let's see what he's got. Oh, it's golden! He's Super Saiyan and loose. <laughs> they actually had like a pink dino color in 14 that they didn't return in 15. No. So, El Rosa's a little bit, you know, salty. A little mad about that, yeah. Where's my pink dino? Hey, I'll pay more for more colors, SNK. Yeah, likewise. Give me more colors. Good pressure though, this Terry gets the throw. Oh, okay, looks like he got a hop safe jump. Wow, this is gonna actually work. That was beautiful. Off the counter hit jump CD. That's KOF experience, bro. Being able to convert those counter hit jump CDs into whatever, in this case, it was exactly what he needed. So El Rosa takes the first game against Merkulo. What a super, right? He just flips around while you're in his mouth and then he erupts you into a volcano. What was that, a chrono trigger triple attack? What the hell was that? That was godlike.
good stuff, man. Merkel's gonna need to figure this stuff out. This this cooler was giving him a lot of trouble. Okay. El Rosa. See what Merkelo can do to adjust here. I like this. So already he's trying to uh, push the advantage a little bit on offense. Nice air to air. Catches the roll. Yeah, you see experienced KOF players, they'll, they'll cover the roll option with. Uh, when they're jumping in pretty easily, so it's usually a bad idea to roll against them. Hey, by oh, we, the way, fellas, we hit the match arena. The, ma the magic number, the match arena, 42069. Reformats was yes. the one to help make it happen. Thank nice. you. Thank you so much, Reformats. Nice. So now we gotta hit, what is it? $694.20? Can we do that, chat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. It's a dive bomb. Scary situation. Text the throw, good stuff. Merkelo staying alive. Ah, in the air to air. That wasn't so bad though. Uh, Kula does have like, what, 50% health left, so definitely doable with this Blue Mary. Yeah. It's just the approach has been getting DP'd a lot in air to air. Definitely. Ooh, nice upper. Merkel got to try to scout these slides or something. Oh, no. Yeah, right now, it, it feels like El Rosa just kind of gets to move however he wants. And uh, oh, yeah. Merkel, he, I feel like he needs to establish his face a little bit better. Hey. Nice uppercut. That was beautiful facing, making that command grab with, and now he's going to be punished for it. Safe jump. Okay, just repositions instead. Snowman. If he does it one more time, the chat will talk about how bad that move is. You got to be careful. <laughs> oh, the low B. Yo, this Kula, man. I thought this character was low tier, though. <laughs> yeah, I thought... I thought every character that whoops my ass is low tier. I only know how to play top tier, obviously. Ooh. Honestly, though, I mean, El Rosa, a player that is kind of known for playing a lot of uh, unorthodox characters. Uh, he used to play Ramon a lot back in 14, where he wasn't particularly good in that game either, so... Yeah. Well, El Rosa, nice fancy. He played Verse, too. Remember Verse? What a character. Yeah, a character. Yo! The D power dunk? I don't want to remember this. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> the block string and Merkel coming back, hanging on. I don't want to remind, remember myself losing the Kiame's verse at CO Taku Winners. Oh my god, Kiame's verse. Oh, the max mode, make it safe. That was godlike. That was really good. But uh, unfortunately, I don't think he's going to get much out of it. Uh, and the jump CD to take it. El Rosa advances over Merkelo 2 0 in the loser side of this top eight. Yo, why is Dino so hype? He's kind of cute, though, in that win pose right there. Like, with, the, with the eye like that, I don't know. Yeah, he's like looking over his shoulder at you. That's really he got that cute. puppy look for no reason. I'm like, what? Where, where'd that eyeball come from? <laughs> what do you mean? That's, a, that's actually a dinosaur. <laughs> I'm a dino. Oh, he's sexy? Okay. Noted. All right, 2020X so... Oh, shit. Yo, we got DZ Kujaku against Punk coming up next okay. on the loser side of this top eight. So DZ, uh, I think he's from PA. Um, repping KPD, Kick Punch Block. Uh, he oh, played, cool. Yeah, he's, he's been playing a lot of the old school KOF, so it's good to see him in his top eight. Uh, going up against Punk, though, and uh, I mean, we've been singing the praises of Punk all, all night, right? So, you guys yeah, already know I mean, deal. I mean, Punk's new to the circuit, so I'm definitely going to be impressed no matter what, because, you know, they're, they're just going through the the ringer right now, you know? They're, they're figuring it out as they go, so pretty cool. Shout out to KPB, though. They've been holding down tournaments in the Northeast for so long. They're doing... Uh, Winter Brawl 3D right now, I believe, because I was yep. watching the stream earlier. Um, shout out to them. Yeah, DZ, uh, most likely going to be rocking the Orochi team, right? 
Um, so I, I, as far as I know, he's still playing them. True. That should be cool. I mean, Team Oroshi, they're just fucking cool. Whether they're top tier or not, those characters, they're just, they're just cool. I'll look. Mm -hmm. Where can I buy clothes like Yashiro? <laughs> You're trying to get that uh, exposed midriff? I just want the jacket. That jacket. Oh, yeah, the jacket. Yeah, the new, the new uh, Yashiro looks really cool. You're right. I like that jacket. Yep, looks like Team Orochi from DZ Kujaku. The KOF characters know how to dress. Like, I forget. It was one of the last offline sessions I went to. The, 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 I was playing a match and I could just hear people arguing that Benny's Dominican and I'm like, oh shit, maybe. <laughs> Yo, I miss offline. Yo, that sounds like a New York argument, bro. That sounds like some shit out here at next level. Yo, I miss offline. Yeah, man. Miss y'all. Yo, what's your back, bro? Let's, let's fucking, let's do it big. Yo, I'm down, I'm down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the trip up. We'll get some sets. Hell yeah, man. Yo, next level. Uh, Ready? And Brooklyn Video Games Arcade. Yeah, man. Shout out to both those venues. Really holding it down for the KOS scene. Oh, shit. They got the jams going. Nice air to air from DZ. And nice gets to start the Chris, you know, that weird Chris pressure. Wow. Great Whoa. teleport usage. Aye. Good reverse. Far D though. Constructing Chris's way in. Nah, crouch B pressure. Great conversion now. Oh, gets a setup but messes up the command grab. Miss spaces it just a little bit. But still looking pretty good. Nice DP from Punk, and that's gonna take it actually. Wow, good stuff. Player two clinches the first round. Man, this song's classic. Round two. Ready? Yo, here comes Sherms. I saw someone in the chat asking for a good Shermie. Well, here you go, folks. Doing some nice. damage to bring into the next round. Untouched. Great combo there from DZ. Uh, I think that was a good decision to spend all that meter to, to kill off the Athena, because that character, you don't want to let her True. live. She'll, she's so annoying. Yeah, no, nah, especially with her runaway potential and how she can wall up. You don't want her to have that. Exactly. Oh, but yo, nice Punk gets the opening. The pressure. Nice wow. reversal. Yeah, incredible there, especially considering, you know, those A fireballs are pretty plus, especially on hit. Oh my goodness, again, gets him with the, uh, the, the I don't know what to call that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, spinning through. Spin the win. DZ, oh. though, has to find a way back in. Has yeah, some Punk time is though. Definitely disengaging. Nice DP. Yeah, it's tough. I feel like for Shermie to get in against the character like Joe, who's you know able to control a lot of space with that fireball and that amazing DP of his. She just has universal options to get through them. You know. Yeah. And Punk did a great job run gunning to the point where when he did run forward with a low, that's when DZ ran forward too. Wow, that crossed up. That was sick. Again. RD pressure. Pump's movement what is looking really clean right now. Oh, Yoshiro just leapfrog it over. <laughs> oh, nice. It hits him oh, with the cross-up. Yeah, that it moves hard. Up. Hard to deal with. Nice one up. That's probably going to do it. Yes. Good conversion from Punk. Punk is looking really strong already. That's so scary. Yeah, I mean, all these run-up lows are just hitting, and like a lot of these players are just acceptable to thinking their run-up throw is about to happen. But Punk just making the most of it. And what up, the NYC Furby? Thank you for the raid. Yo, Art, have you played since we played? Yo, this dude, Art, is on the Texas Showdown like 5 DVD for 2K2 Vanilla beating the answer. In top four, yo, he's actually a KOL. Yo, let's fucking tell, go. Tell him to play the game. Play the game, Art. Oh, did we get the bug? No, uh, no we're good. Cool. Sometimes it takes a little long on the loading. 
A little bit glad to hear, Art. Right. You were my favorite whip in the Northeast back in the day. Oh, nice. I like the way they use that TP. Built the little meter, went over the fireball. Ooh. Nice TP from Punk. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just so hard to get started on uh, Punk's Athena, Punk's Joe. I mean, both those characters excel at keeping you out, keeping you out of your comfortable spacing. But hold on, here we go. Get the safe yeah, jump. Easy. Man grab yet again. Bringing the shenanigans out, but good block. From yeah, that was Punk. really good defense. Those are not easy to block, let me tell you. No. Hey, straight roll. Gets a little bit of damage. Oh, misses the combo. Oh, sweep though. Good defense so far from Punk playing so evasively. But yo, oh <laughs> no, that jump, jump back B. B. Yeah, it gets around that close C. And Chris really throws his knuckles into it. I'm surprised, but not too surprised. Sure. Oh, no. Nice, and Sherms is in there. Yo, girl. Oh. Let's go, DZ. I love me some Sherm. Yeah, man. You and like a million other people, according to that video <laughs> trailer. Except Lord Walkman, but. I'm not a big fan of her either, to be honest. <laughs> it's that haircut, man. It's so cool. I, guess. <laughs> I mean. Uh, no comment. I don't want to get burned alive by You don't like that. rock and roll rat tails? Yeah, let's move on. Let's move on. Not bad. Ooh, nice party there. Oh, wow. Great punish on the command grab attempt. This should be kill right there. Nice, gets it. Yo, punk. Looking real clean right now. God damn. Oh. Uh. We don't need no dizzy combos. Just keep it, keep it simple. We we closing for that win. Oh, tried to shatter strike through the fireball, but a little bit too far for it to connect. Nice roll, but doesn't get the full combo, unfortunately. Great uh, use of that slash or scythe kick. Easy in trouble here. Punk's really walling up with the fireball game and mm -hmm. showing the Shoto skills. Nice EX. Getting right started. Okay. Gets him with the overhead. Good trade. Oh my there goodness. Go. What a DP from Punk and sealing the deal. Punk advancing over DZ Kujaku and this loser side of top 8. 2 0. Yeah, good stuff. I mean, good stuff to DZ as well. Making it into our final eight was not easy. It was a stack bracket today. But, you know, Punk, the 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 young gun, the rising star, Punk, <laughs> doing pretty well here. And, you know, honestly, I'm impressed. You know, great job to him. And he's just getting started here. So, like we've said before, so let's see that growth. All right, so up next on stream, uh, let's see who we have. It looks like it's going to be... Chippy oh, Diaphone Diaphone versus now. El Rosa up next, fellas. Okay. Okay, understood. El Rosa needs time. So we can do the other one if they're available. Let's see if, if they're ready for... If, if Punk is cool with playing again, I guess. Oh, yeah, if Lapis, Lapis versus Punk would be up, up next. Then. Yo, that'd actually be pretty good because Punk would be going against... Uh, a pretty solid veteran, so I don't know. Yeah. West Coast, East Coast battle as well. The clash of the styles. There is a little bit of a style difference in KOF, uh, but I'd say new age, you know, mo more than likely most players play aggro. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's oh, personally, I think it's a little bit easier to play aggressive than defensive. I was just trying especially to help you open, that's cool you got. Oh, sorry, yeah, my bad. Are you good? Okay, Yurikov got the lore. So Diaphone beat El Rosa at, uh, in 14 at NEC. So this is a run back. Oh. 
Okay, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be Lapis vs. Punk. Yeah, Lapis vs. Punk, that's the next one. Sorry about that, child. Punk is available to play. Uh, thank you, Punk, for helping out, and welcome Lapis, who's in the lobby, and I'll be here in just a moment. Thank you, everybody, for getting us over $420 in the match, Reno. Help us reach our goal of $500 if you can tonight to support the players and next level and make it a spectacular top three payout for the sure. homies. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, thank you for the support, everyone. And right, Monster Stream? The ice is just too talented. He's funny. Shout out to that man. I hope he plays more KOF as well. Yeah, man. I, that's another one of those guys that I... Uh, it's really cool to see, you know, people that aren't KOF people in my mind picking it up and playing. And not only playing, but also enjoying it in a lot of cases. Yeah. So it's been really cool. His Clark will be good, trust. Oh, uh, for sure. I played him a lot over a bunch of games. And he just has the third eye of offense. He can see how you're blocking or moving like every frame and react really well. So that makes it's sense. one of those anomaly players that doesn't really play like anyone else. And he's a Euro champion, right? So there's something there. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, with Lapis still leading off with that long like the usual. Mm -hmm. He's hiding his power level, you see that? What rank is he? He's unknown. <laughs> Uh, honestly, if, if you guys have been following KOF, you guys probably know who this guy, Lapis, aka KCO Pedro, is. You definitely uh, do. Yeah. But, I mean, and obviously, we also have a uh, very decorated, highly uh, story fighting game player as well. Hey, I, I think this will be a good match for Punk. And uh, let's see what happens. We've seen Punk make the adjustments these game twos, so I, I'm buckled in. Yeah. It's not kind of about just yet, though. I mean, Joe against... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not to say this game's over. Sorry. Right, right, right. Sorry, I'm just saying, in general, he's been having this game to adaption. So do you. Nice full jump over the fireball. It gets the reset into a very tricky offensive sequence. I mean, he did play Street Fighter 4, so once he figures out how this character works like Viper, he might be okay. <laughs> Oh, nice trade into combo. Yo, thank you for the five gift subs, the Ryan face. Very much. Oh, Ryan face, thank you. Welcome to the school army, y'all. Get those bets in more points. More yeah. School books. Yeah, this Lapis Long though is looking so, uh, you know, really hard for for Punk to pin down right now. CD. Great conversion. Oh, great. Okay, here we go. It's going to do a lot of damage. Nice. Okay, off suspense. Save the bar. I think that's... Oh, no, no. no. I'm bugging. Oh, the back throw. Again. Oh, that no. So good. That EX pinwheel hits so quickly. Punk just was not ready to start blocking the other way. Yeah, Pedro was just in really good spacing to really whittle down Punk and then made the most of all the set play. But, you know, Punk's seen the mix up now. He he's definitely has shown his prominence in anime games, Marvel, etc. So he just, you know, you got to get hit by some some mix up sometimes to know how to block. It's okay. Yep. And honestly, if he play, if he's got a Marvel background, none, none of the stuff that's happening in KOF is particularly that scary. It's just a matter of like learning to deal with like that, all the pressure, the, yeah. the mental stack. It's 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 constantly shifting when you're playing KOF. And that's that's the yeah. hard part. There's a lot of stuff you have to preemptively react to. There's a lot of stuff you have to true react to, and how to set your brain to do all that accordingly. It can be hard sometimes. Mm -hmm. So far, some really good pokes, really great spacing from Punk. I like that he's trying to neutralize Long by staying out of her effective ranges, using Athena's fireballs and DP zoning to uh, really just keep her out. Yeah, Pedro doing a good job of just reacting to Psycho Ball though. Keeping it simple with the super jumps. Oh, miss input there. Great challenge with that 5A. Oh, and the CD full conversion. Damage. Ouch. 
And that's plus. Punk now is aware that the wheel kick is plus on block at that height. Yeah, someone let him know in his chat. Help him out. Oh, I don't think he needs somebody to tell them. <laughs> like, I think he just knows <laughs> He can tell. That. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right, you're right. Help the boy out. Just help him out. He's still new. He's struggling. I would right, say he's struggling, know. but... Yeah, I mean, this, this long is, uh... Just giving him a little bit of a hard time. Yeah. Nice DP. Not this game. Last game, yeah. But, yeah you know, Joe sure. back in there. Got the Giuna shorts. No one can touch this man at P4U2, I've seen. Stand to a Ready, go. Come on, modders. Make that mod. Nice jump B. Catching him. Throwing him back into the corner. Still uh, Lapis' turn. Oh my lord. Yo, you see him just bulldogging his way in. Oh no, Punk unfortunately no close drops normal, though. Mode. Yeah, you gotta be sure when on that run up, you know? Sometimes you will be at a far distance. Great stand B, checking the hop attempt from uh, Punk. This is just textbook Benny Marble play right now. He's just placing every normal exactly where it needs to be. Oh. Nice far D though. Punk's not out of it. Oh, now he is with the jump. But taking away a lot of health there. Getting a, a, a way better lead than them before. And still having some meter on the table. Dude, if Liz can do oh. Nice, catches him. Great conversion. Gets the hard knockdown. Oh my lord. Oh, but doesn't get the worst. I mean, it still could have been worse. He could have converted a lot of these stray hits. But now, yeah. Punk rolls out of the corner. It's hard to keep up with hit. everything that's going on because just Pedro is just doing all sorts of stuff and it's all like, it's all seems to be connecting and wow. True. Lapis just takes a 2 0 over Punk, ending that great run of his from, uh, from Punk. Hey, honestly, for, you know, a first week run and considering some of the opponents he came up against, I, I give him the thumbs up. Yo, Punk did a, a, a valiant effort and he's only going to come back stronger. So thank you, Punk, for giving the game a, an honest try and, and still playing, you know, honestly. He could have said nah after that first tweet, but he's back in playing the game, trying to get good. I, mad respect to the boy. Yeah, it looks like uh, both players agreeing that connection was pretty rough, and that's unfortunate, but that's kind of the nature of, you know, geography. <laughs> Lapis, of course, yeah. from Colorado, Punk from Florida. It's, it's going to be difficult, you know? Hey, make sure if you play these East Coast, West Coast connections, training stage, and then DJ mode. Put your favorite song on there, all right? That's the tech. DJ mode is, of course, the most important addition. Fuck rollback, fuck everything else that they added. DJ station was <laughs> sick. Yeah, DJ Station is sick. You can get all your favorite KOF tracks in here. So it's different all the time. All right, so I think uh, coming up next, we're probably going to have Diaphone versus El Rosa, as long as El Rosa's ready. Um, okay. He was playing in another tournament, so that's, what, uh, that's why we had to skip this match earlier. I think we are ready now, though, for it with any luck. So it should be Diaphone, like you said, versus El Rosa, who should be on the way shortly. Rosa. Yeah, sorry, my bad, y'all. In the meantime, stick around, support the crowdfund. If you're able to and you enjoyed the tournament tonight, you can help them out in any way you like. Of course, we appreciate all the support that you've given to us today. Uh, we have over $420 in there. Uh, the biggest donators include, well, let's take a look, uh, your Lunger with the big 100. K97, thank you, K97 with the $65. Cornelius 2017, Ice Wolf, Sir Bumblebee, Potato Player, Reformats, a lot of regulars here, if you notice. PJ Smooth, thank you, PJ Smooth, for helping out. Sin Wave, doing a big 10 as well. Thank you, Sin Wave. Thanks to all the subs of Team Spooky so far. Free Zenny up in there with the 690. Party Barge, thank you. And Tenor Clubs. All the, the, the regular contribution codes are gone, but you can check out all the other goodies too if you would like to help out and support. Give them all a shot, everybody, and thanks a lot. Uh, for everything you've done for us today, enjoy the rest of the goodies. We'll have more matches coming up in just a minute, all right? Yeah, support the players with the pot. You know, you can also give to the pot by supporting Team Spooky, becoming a sub. We give $1 to the pot. 
and uh yeah and support kof y'all thank you everyone just for showing up and being enthusiastic and just chill and cool honestly just reading the chat i just see y'all discussing the game straight up and i i, I really respect that it's not Absolutely. like i haven't even seen like shitty memes or anything you know y'all are just talking about the game i i much love that's cool it's always a breath of fresh air because like back in the old days of kof stream chats i would mostly <laughs> see like game like game wars or talking about like sh shitting on somebody else's game or talking about lore and stuff like that it's like that's that's just fine whatever it's got a time and place but yeah in the stream chat i i like to see some game discussion and it's cool to see a lot of people interested in discussing the gameplay um you know gas up the players that type of thing hey the cool thing about cool kof is once you learn one you could start jumping to other engines and be like wait this character can do this in this engine just go have fun it's cool for sure yeah i mean see me in any old kof y'all i dare any of you i'm just playing <laughs> <laughs> okay see uh, me in 2000 though I'm just okay kidding. no you, you got me you got me in 2000 for sure for, for, for. Right, let's go now i bet you got an armor chang it's cool <laughs> Bro, I wish, man. That game looks so silly. I, I do need to play it eventually. A5. You're a K-Seeker Eori Assist player? I, I know. Bro, I would definitely play another Eori Assist and then, I don't know who else. Yeah, Probably Blue Mary. Cool. Blue Mary King. Those, those characters seem pretty cheap. Fun game. Definitely. A, I'm not going to say it's the most competitive, but it's definitely one of the most fun. The cool thing about 2000, and this will be my last on it, and I won't run off forever on it, but... It's as jank as it is solid. If you took out the strikers, the normals and the super confirms and everything is as solid as some of the best KOFs. It's okay. just you add a really jank system on top and that game's crazy. <laughs> so let's stage. All right, let's get into it. Yeah, Final of crazy games. We got Diaphone versus El Rosa. So, I mean, according to Yuri Top in the chat, uh, Diaphone actually does have a dub on El Rosa um, in KOF 14. Let me see one here. I mean, like I said before, both these players were in the cuts for these top eights, you know. Mm -hmm. So these are these are some of the champs coming out to take this Macharino money from the losers, the dark horses. But of course, uh, El Rosa, if you guys are not familiar, very decorated uh, KOF player. Uh, probably a lot of people's picks to do very well in today's tournament as well. But not if he's Aye. doing DPs like that, right? <laughs> I mean, it's early. It is early. Yeah, you didn't get hurt that bad for it. The risk reward is still down, so you know. Yep. Still a lot of little leeway. Nice. Oh, the reaction. Great DP challenging. Yeah, especially with the ADPs. You know, that's the impulse not really there. You know. Exactly. Yeah. But it's nice harder combo. to punish. Choose to hold on to the meter. I think that's a good idea. Oh my goodness. Yo, Diaphone's just getting hit. What in the world? My man's just held down back and ate every single overhead. It's not as good as 11, but it's still good, man. You gotta watch out. Instant overhead jump C. Oh no. This is that character. That like Vanessa. This is the problem. Yeah, she is the problem. Don't let her get started. Uh-oh. I think that's enough to kill, right? Oh, now he whiff. drops it. Commentator's curse, bro. Yeah, keep cursing him. That's what you get for picking the top ones. Oh, again. From downtown. My goodness. All right, that wasn't too bad for Diaphone. Yeah, honestly, this character could have a pixel. As long as you land the EX, you're good. You know? <laughs> Ooh, oh, almost I like it, game. but he might be able to get the 2A, but wow, he I'll did it again TV right away. Gets the yo, the reset side switch that's worked like three times already on stream. Oh, I wasn't able to punish the roll, unfortunately. I die if I'm gonna need to go into the lab and figure that one out. Okay, but this is now El Rosa's turn. Let's see what he's got. Stays in front oh. and then goes low. iPhone wasn't blocking, unfortunately. Right back to the corner and the lows again. Check those toes. 
empty jump this time, and this I think this should be enough. Yes. Oh, the flip. Damn, he got cool supers. Yo, my boy Tizza. I mean, Cod, my bad. Cod. Yo, the, all the Pog champs coming out. Nice. The Neo Pog champs. Oh. Yo, Diaphone's Dolores is looking really solid right now. Just, uh, just checking every single advance. I mean, that far D, really hard to deal with. Nice punish. Even on top of it, the Farsi. Yo, Game Goons, 121 coming oh, in. Who won? Who won? Wait, don't tell us. Don't tell us. I oh, don't tell it. us. Don't tell us. <laughs> oh my lord. Yo, once Ralph has oh, him, it's so scary. You gotta keep Rome in check, man. He won. <laughs> I mean, I got a pretty good record against this guy now, so... I feel pretty okay about that. Ooh! Nice jump, CD. You gonna let him talk nice to you like that, Rome? Ooh, he's jumping. Ma wow, just jumps right over and then catches him with the Galactic Phantom. That's gonna take it. El Rosa 1-0 <laughs> against Diaphone. That was a good set. We'll see how Diaphone can really adjust to this, but I mean, Ralph in the back. That's, speaking of walls. Yeah, I mean, he's playing. He has, I was, sorry, I was going to say he was, he's playing just really good. Diaphone was as well, but um, El Rosa just managed to get a few like good offensive sequences in. He just guessed wrong a couple of times, and that really ended up being the difference. True. I was just gonna say with Ralph, you know, all he really needs is like two and a half bars as an anchor, and it's like petrifying. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, big jump over the down two. That might have been a DP attempt, honestly, that got missing for it. Nice DP from Diaphone. Oh nice. no. The damn. Oh. Ah, the bait. Wow. You know, just kept putting him into these block strings that he just swung. Just swung on it. Give me my turn. Oh my goodness. Nice air to air. To air. He's just making so much work with that jump B. You guys notice, uh, Diaphone tried to do a dash up, but El Rosa was ready with that cooler 2B. It's important. You gotta check those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jump. again! My goodness, he definitely knows this matchup quite well. Yeah, I mean, the charge is negative and puts you out of safe range, but you can obstruct it before it approaches. You want to make her force to go to the air. Good defense. Pushes out Diaphone. Oh, no conversion on the cross. Nothing excess with the five Dude. sub. Thank you so much. Make sure you thank Nothing excess. Okay, KOS, that's the first CBS dash over that's actually gone through. And Diaphone really making it count. Oh, the air to air goes Diaphone's way, but man, that Vanessa took a lot of damage just to get this first character out. It's true. That jump back CD, very nice though. If she can get a counter hit one of those on the dino, she can get a charge punch combo. Oh no, opted for the shatter, but it was in cross up range. And he gets the OTG. That is enough. Yeah. That was huge. What I want to know, if that's really a mask, how, how the hell is he chopping on people like that? <laughs> you got to ask some Jim Hansen tech. One big old Muppet. That's what. <laughs> wow, great air to air. Just keeping this Dolores in the corner exactly where he wants her. Ooh. This, bro, this pressure is so insurmountable right now. I the low. Back in the, be the end of our hero here. Great anti air from Diaphone. Keeping a cool head under all this pressure. The skull. Oh, he went for it. What a bad man. 
Again. Wow, the armor command grab busting right through the uh, uh, Dolores standee and El Rosa taking a 2-0 over Diaphone. I mean, rough for Diaphone, but he had to make an approach at that point. He was down. He he was on his second character behind. And, you know, those box strings just didn't work. El Rosa moving on to our final four. Great run here. Yeah, a lot of great players in this top eight. It was really, uh, that was really a great set, honestly. The, just the way seeing El Rosa dealing with uh, Diaphone Finesse, who was, you know, giving so many other players a lot of trouble. Um, I thought that was pretty interesting. And I think a lot of players, uh, that, especially the ones that lost to Diaphone, are going to have to study that one and see what the hell El Rosa was doing. Screw that. And I mean, you got to, one thing too, chat getting really hyped for El Rosa's characters. I hope that motivates some people that might have been losing to these Vanessa players, losing to these Dolores's. You know, there is a blueprint out there. It's just not going to come right away. You know, you got to work on these little things that an experienced player like El Rosa baited out in the neutral. For sure. Okay, so it looks like we got our next match underway already. Uh, picking their characters. So it looks like it's probably going to be... Is this winner's finals? Yeah, it should be winner's finals. Okay. So it's going to be one versus Yuri Koff. That's right. Three out of five, fellas. It's going to be yeah, it's sick. Cool. Both these guys have been playing incredibly well today. Yeah, you got to work hard. We don't got to work as hard as you think. You know, sometimes you got to dig deep, but it's never as deep as you think it is. You just got to start Get digging. Ready for a battle of titans. Both these guys now have good records against me in tournaments, so I don't care who wins. <laughs> I want them both to lose shit. All right, so double, play. double, double KO, and then we make a new ruling. Got it. All right, we got Mei Tang Kun versus Chris on point. Ooh, swing. Wow, double slide. Oh my god. CD into the lunge punch too, man, covering so much area. Yeah, that lunge punch, oh my gosh, the anti-air fireball catching Chris trying to jump. I mean, like, Chris has to move forward, so he's got a lot of options to take him out the sky from a distance. Oh, poor punish there on the EX, uh, DC. Good flash kick. Great combo there at the end from Yuri Kov. Taking the first round pretty convincingly. It looked like Juan KOF really couldn't play to Chris's strengths in that round. And I mean, that's that just goes to show how good uh, Yuri Kov's mate Dan Kun is at uh, Indeed. owning. Back throw. Gets the sweep again, and there's the lunge punch. Dude, this such a good job of just sweeping and then calling out the air approaches. That was really good by Juan to fight his way out of the corner because being in the corner against Nathan was really, uh, really uh, suffocating because his his strings are really uh, hard to protect. Sure. Nice. Oh, oh no, conversion, no. but the throw reset. Okay. The wait out here. Oh, oh wow. Oh, that hurt. Got him with the follow-up to the dash punch. Juan KO has swung into it, unfortunately for him. And with the read here, what a lead from Yurikov. All right, Luan coming in with the bar and a half. Great air to air, has her in the corner now. You gotta be careful, cause those counter hit jump CDs from Ralph, if you confirm those, huge damage. Great sweep. Pretty difficult situation. Oh my lord, you got hit by the... That's the... That's a pretty tricky set setup, because you have to block it high, and then you have to block a cross up immediately afterwards. Round four. Ready? Go! Ooh, nice tech. Dance canceling in. Yeah, Juan can get out the corner here. Nice trade, but the roll past the Breco. Okay. 
Great air to air. Wow, the cross under. That was so good from Yurikov. Unfortunately, he does a garbage combo. I keep telling him he needs to learn better combos, man. That combo also sucked. Come on, bro. If his combos were any better, he would be, like, <laughs> so scary. Nah, he's practicing Milia combos. He ain't got time for no, that. No, you're right. You're right. <laughs> and I mean, it's not, it, it doesn't seem like he needs any better combos, because right now he's still a winner sign, and he's up a game on one KOF. Hey, his KOF veteranship holding him on, you know? He got to work a little hard in the striveness. I mean, it's new age gear, you know? But, you know, mm -hmm. he, he's repping in multi-games here. It's just that clown, the friggin' carnival music. I'm like, oh god. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> the throw punish this time. Wow, not afraid though, still using that lunge punch in neutral. Mm -hmm. Great tech and great anti air. Yeah, Juan KO really just isn't able to get anything started with this Chris right now. Back roll out, yeah. Oh, nice. That was a great down C catching something that Yuri Kopp was trying to do. A great safe, safe jump. jump, but messes up the punish, unfortunately. Great patience, but doesn't get a lot of damage. Chris, of course, great character, but his damage is a little bit lacking on point. Hey. Nice combo. Finishes the drill. I mean... It took him so long just to get one decent punish on the non-follow-up, but he got it when it mattered. Great air, air catches the roll. Again. Yo, the vortex, my Ooh. goodness. Off the close D, shades of 98, let's go. Great corner pressure right now. Oh, but he gets thrown. Hard cancel throw, that shit's so powerful, dude. Uh, to the chat, yes, you can chip kill in this game, but you also have stuff like guard cancel roll and stuff like that, so they can punish you for trying to go for it in time. It's so weird to me that like people have to ask if chip kills exist now, but I get it. <laughs> Not other games. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. 2020X, baby. Yep. Nice, keeps her in the corner, cashes out a little bit. Nice, and the double overhead catches Yuri Kong. On KOF looking pretty good now in this game too. Yeah, the Ralph lead, very scary to deal with. This character's a wall. Opting for the fireball game. I wonder if he's gonna go for any air shatter strikes against it, but since he's going for the runaway, it's gonna be a lot harder to catch. Nice DP. Nice frame trap sequence. Catches Juan KO up on the second one. He's just not getting any punishes on these uh, as well. Right attack. Hey. Make a throw bait. Oh my lord. He went for it. Juan KOF looking pretty dominant in the second game. Looks like a complete reversal of the first one. Right? The one the one? I mean, he's got the resume already. He's he got you. He got El Rosa. <laughs> what veteran can he take next? Oh yeah. Okay, he's going into character select. I, I think he might sub in the Benny Maru, but I'm not sure for who. I mean, sometimes you just need to take time to think too. Maybe switch the stage, you know. Yeah, he wasn't taking the carnival music. I get pumped up by music, so I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like certain stages, I will pick just to hype myself up. I feel like, you. There's actually my problem is sometimes if the music is too hype, oh, I like yeah, play yeah. like an idiot. You know what I mean? So I there were some some stages where I or some characters that I had to like be on player one side or player two side for. <laughs> Oh, that makes sense, because I have Secret Place from Metal Slug for my training stage thong. 
Sometimes I get way too hyped to that song. That <laughs> bass. Yeah, if, if you're playing this game, people, you gotta unlock that Metal Slug soundtrack. It is too powerful. Does somebody have, like, a save file yet on PC for... I haven't one? seen it yet. I haven't either, yeah. If, anybody if I complete it, I got you. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> okay. Nice con Oh, wow. Gets him with the reset there. Nice DP from uh, Yurikov. Ace out here. Nice uppercut. Ooh. Punish on the command grab. Card cancel. Gets Chris out of his face. I like it. Great block by Juan KOF. Bro. Nice over and over. In the booty. Uh, How did just KOF neutral being played right now? A lot of air to air exchanges. Mark or Yurikov in the corner now. Ooh, what a punish! The down C four day. Now one taking out Yuri. I think this is the first time in this set so far that he won the point war. So this is probably be, this probably feels pretty good for him. Nice. That was really crazy. Wow, another hey, again. Marco's long actually uh really like high octane. It's really hard to block all the different stuff that he does all at once. Nice command grab. Uh-oh. Almost converted all of that. Safe though, but the run-up grab doesn't matter. Player two wastes no time, evening the score. Throwing round. This is the problem character. Last game. Yeah. <laughs> Bar D, the character. Gets the throw. Scary situation now. Gets the uh, gets the hit. Hey. Wow! Just gets hit by the overhead. Nice. Oh, the rollback was bad Catches roll, him. unfortunate. My goodness. Yeah, it looked like Juan was just having a lot of trouble defending against all this stuff that Yurikov was doing to him. It's good to see a, a, a player like Juan also have trouble with this stuff, because it makes me feel less shitty about getting hit by all of it. <laughs> hey, you gotta know, like, mattering what type of mix-up, you gotta go for a forward roll or etc. you know? Mm -hmm. For sure. Oh, the throws! Wow, okay, he was trying to bait a DP there, but no dice from Juan KOF. And now Juan looking to reverse this situation. Some decent damage on the table. It's not going to be done yet, though. It's the safe jump, but that's a roll out, unfortunately, for uh, Juan KOF. That was a big opportunity. Oh my gosh! Okay. Dude, I blinked and Yori was already just jumping on top of her, so Mark, right. uh, Yuri Goff was probably doing the same thing. Exactly. You gotta watch out for that jump C. Maitakun in the back with some meter. Yuri was doing so well with this character on point. Now, with three bars in the back, how much you got? Is this it? And he, yeah, I think this is it. Oh, it is. Wow, dude, that was such a sick combo. Wow. The explosions in the sky. Oh wait, that ain't fireworks. That's my tycoon. <laughs> Don't sleep on the kit. Uh. Two one now. Yurikov on set point against Juan KOF. This is winners finals. So this is to get into grand finals. Damn. Low tier, right? I mean, that's what Asia says. So. <laughs> I mean, that's why it's always fun. I know people people either love or hate it, but you know that week one tier discussion. Yeah, I think it's always fun because you know it's just all yeah. early opinion. You know, you have to take it with a grain of salt and just have fun with it because obviously yeah. everybody who knows anything about fighting games knows that a week one tier list is not 
that like like there's not much to it right but, you know hey, it's still if, he, fun. if he's the worst character that's pretty good <laughs> you know that's what i'm thinking exactly and that's the thing about this game it feels well, he's like not the worst but it feels like even like the quote bad or mid-tier characters are still incredibly powerful characters you know what i mean yeah that's what i'm trying to emphasize here that you know from these tier lists i've seen even the characters on the bottom end usually be giving me some problems regardless so mm -hmm. you know but not to say you know during they don't de deserve some love on some of these patches but uh you know they still they still got some shit yeah, and it's always interesting, no matter when it is, to, to kind of hear what some of these top players have to say. Guys like Shao Hai, yeah, Ezra, Nike, all those, the legends, right? Yeah, always that's curious. why, you know, Reynolds and Shao Hai have put a, a ton of random select in already, so I want to hear their week one opinion. Yeah. It's not, not the end of the world. Yet. Right. It's not, it's not law. But wow, this Yuri Cobb Yuri is... Uh, Really putting the hurt on Juan KOF right now. Juan manages to get out of the corner. Yuri kind of just giving up a lot of space. Oh no, big opportunity. Nice DP. It's a very common pattern from Yuri. Nice. Great air to air, and then catches the rollout attempt. Wow, that was really nice. What a setup. The rush down here. But that was such a great challenge from Honkyo. It takes a lot of guts to be able to press a button in that situation. And unfortunately. Especially after like two EX dive kicks. But mm -hmm. you know, lost in the scrambles when approaching from that mid screen. You know, just one air fireball into a jump D and that was enough. See if this Ralph is able to play his game. Wow, punishes the roll. Good stuff. Not quite enough yet. Nice. Whiff punishes. That stand C now whiffs on Crouchers. I'm not sure if it did before, but one KOF taking full advantage. Stand your ground. Ready? Go. Equal footing here from both. Uses the blowback. That was certainly an accident. Like, he just wanted to be <laughs> yeah. on neutral. The CD stance cancels. Mm hmm. Nice. Jump. And there we go. Hey. To the other side. And again. Time to guess. Oh my lord. Yeah, you're not plus after that, bro. Oh, the roll forward this time. Dude, what in the world was that round, bro? He got one knockdown and then Hon KOF just melted. That Ralph just died. Hey, honestly why switch it up it's just working yuri has been hitting everyone with just cross up friggin wheel kick we've only seen one roll forward and nothing really happened after keep running oh there we go one k finds the hit with the siori puts her into the corner oh it went for a, like a tricky thing but didn't work out for him oh it didn't block low after the first one Nice, finds the, the jump in again, and I feel like he might have to spend a lot of bar here. No, he opts to save it. I think that's a, you know, he's investing in the future. Yeah, but trouble here. Oh, nothing but stray hits. All right, please spend the Still bar. might not be enough. Yes, they have spent it. What's the timer at? Oh, not much health. Still doable. Maybe around 40. 43 or something. Oh, but hold up. This is Meitan Kun. It's, it's so hard to get in without taking yeah. any damage against this guy. Ready? Go. Okay. It's going to be hard to get in, especially with two bars on the table. That could be death. Yeah, good patience, though, so far from Hong KOF. Blocking out a lot of food. No! I thought throw. he got the throw. That's tough. Nice guard cancel, but misses the punish, unfortunately. You can definitely see the nerves coming into play here. Nice, and that should be That's it. it. Yuri Koff holding down that winner's finals 3-1. Really showing the power of Might to Kun. Battery, anchor, no matter what. People can't get through this wall, the sleepy boy. Yeah, he was really, he was playing really well there. So, um, you know, not the last we've seen at Juan, Juan KOF. He's going to be waiting in Losers Finals for the winner of this upcoming match. 
Uh, yep. And that's going to be El Rosa versus Lapis. Yeah, so, oh, nice. so El Rosa is currently competing in that, the, one of the other events that's going on tonight. There's all the KOF happening, chat. Y'all know what it is, all right? So we're going <laughs> to wait a little bit until that's complete so that they can jump back into have some matches with us. Uh, that does give us a couple minutes to talk about all the stuff that you guys have been helping us out with tonight. So everybody, thank you very much. I appreciate all of you. Uh, don't forget to check out the Match Arena if you've been having a good time tonight. I'll put the link in the chat for you directly so you can check it out. You have used up all the codes and you've used up many of the goodies in the sidebar. Help us reach our goal now of $500 if possible. The top three will be get a piece of the prize pool. Of course, if you guys at home, 75% goes to the top three. 25% supports Next Level and Henry Cent. Everything else you do, of course, supports us. Thanks for all the subs, the gift subs, and the goodies. Of course, every sub also contributes to the prize pool. And uh, thanks for everything you guys do. Don't forget also to follow Aru, everybody, on Twitch and on Twitter at Aru Lee. And follow Lord Nerd Josh, too, on all the goodies, all the socials. Find them at Nerd Josh, all right? Other than that, everybody, Hell we're going to... Uh, what else? Are we going to look at the bracket, actually? Let's take a look at some of the stuff that has happened so far. Let's a big thank you to all the monsters that came in to compete. You guys are incredible. Uh, look forward to news on the PC tournament very soon. We're going to talk about that in a little bit as well so that you guys can sign up and compete. Now, top eight action. This is how it went down. Uh, seventh place, Merculo and DZ Kujaku. They both got a tie, everybody. Seventh place. Appreciate both of you. Thanks for showing us what you can do during the first event. Fifth place tie is going to be Diaphone as well as Punk. All right, props to the both of them. Okay, Diaphone, who apparently hey. likes to compete in like everything, and so does Punk. It looks like that's a, a little trait they both have. They like playing every every game and trying them all out and, and dabbling a little with something, something. Now, you've already seen Yurikov defeat Juan Kewa. That means that Yurikov is guaranteed top two no matter what happens. On the loser side, we're gonna find out who will make it back to them. And uh, yeah, very soon we're gonna see El Rosa versus Lapis. Good stuff to all the monsters. Appreciate you guys. Other than that, everybody, hope you guys have been having a good time. Don't forget to follow us here on Twitch if you guys are enjoying yourselves. Yeah, good job, DZ. Come back for the next one. We'll let you know when the PC stuff is ready. Hell yeah, DZ. Thanks for bringing Team New Faces. That their Roshi love there. That's what's up. No doubt. He's just a bracket, everybody, if you want to check it out. I can't type for, for anything today. Pung, Pung is here. Y'all know. All right? No, for real. It should be extra hype tonight. Hope you guys will enjoy. After it's all over... Let me know what game you guys want to see today. What do y'all want to see me play? We can do... We can do Elden Ring like we did yesterday. We can do PlayStation 1 stuff. We can do pretty much Whoa. whatever you want. So you guys uh, let me know what you guys core? want to see. The, it's, gotten, it's been improving a lot, like, very quickly. So right I now... I got to update to the beta core, right? For Mr. Yeah, you have to have beta Mr. Core, and then you have the beta goodies. But, uh, yeah, you know, whatever. You know, it, it works pretty well. There's only one game now, currently, that doesn't work for me. It's Ace Combat 3. That's the only one that doesn't work. Oh, Everything else seems to be working. The music in that game is fire. Fucking, uh, does Alundra work? I haven't tried it yet. I have to imagine it does. King because Steel. even, like, Valkyrie Profile <laughs> works. And that's one that's okay, got a cool. similar, like, a style to Alundra, right? I have to imagine it works pretty well. Anyway, y'all let me know. We will do a... We will do... A poll for you guys at the end. You'll tell me whether you want to see Elden Ring or whether you want to see me match on PlayStation 1. If I play PS1 games, I probably will play something like Azure Dreams. That's one that I'm, I'm kind of in the boot for or something oh, like yeah. that. Oh, yeah. You guys check it out, all right? So Azure stick Dreams? Around. Yeah, Azure Dreams. I love that one. Who are you going to date? <laughs> oh, I'm just going to mash on all of them. Treat it like it's Persona. I'm just going to... Everybody. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah, mash on everybody. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. I wish like, I could get some type of code. You know how how it, supposedly you could get Gosh in the original version to be one of the waifus or something like that. I want to figure out <laughs> some way to do that. Yeah, for real. So you know how when you beat the game, there's always one spot that no matter what you do, that one spot doesn't get filled in, right? Like one of the, the spots yeah, yeah, yeah. someone... It, it turned out that was Gosh, the, the, the guy or whatever that oh, the always messes with you on the second. The floor. homie? Yeah. The homie turned super bromy. I guess so. Okay, I do wonder it. what that would have been like anyway. I'm curious. Anyway, that's one I could try. Azure Dreams. There's also some PS1 games we could try and some other goodies too. And yeah, thanks for the support. Check out YouTube too, everybody. We'll put the videos here for this one very soon. We're also going to be uploading matches from the Dragon Ball Fighters event that just happened, including Lab Code 21. So if you want to see what Lab Code 21 can do, guess what? We got you because Lab Code 21 was in every single match. That's not even a joke. <laughs> All right. So I, if you, I don't. I don't believe it. Yeah, anyway, if you want to see Lab Code 21, everybody, follow the channel and look for it. The videos are going to be coming for you. In fact, some teams had Android 42, like Raku Gay says, okay? If you want to know what Android 42 is, that means that they had Lab Code 21 and they had regular 21 on the team, okay? They had Android 42. <laughs> That's how serious it was.
Anyway, make sure to look oh. forward to that one too, everybody. Yo, did I read that right? Josh the Funk Doc hosted you? Word. Much love the Funk Doc. The, the Funk Doctor. Yo, Josh, what? let's do a Street Fighter 1 run back sometime. When, when you're ready. Because I actually know how to play now. It'd be interesting. Thank I need you. to get the world record back. Thank you, thank you, thank Damn, die beat me. No doubt. Thank you, Funk Doc, for real. Let me even look. I'm even going to look and see what he was streaming. I'm curious what he was up to. Josh the Funk Doc. Let's see. Thank you also, Pat Daddy. Hell yeah, thanks for the big subscription. Everybody, we're going to start the next match soon. If you're wondering why we're waiting, we're just waiting for uh, one of the players to, to be available. They're competing in another tournament that's also happening tonight. So just give us a little bit. It'll be starting soon. I want to know what Josh was up to. Josh. Yeah, Josh Funk Dog's legendary. Not like he's well known as a speedrunner, you know, but he, we've known Josh in the fighting game circuit a long time. He's definitely, you know, he we're he was making dude. Dark East work at these NECs, you know. He was like, yeah, you, you can't win all these SNK <laughs> games, Darkies. Get that Xbox out of here. Darkies that could, only, could only rig so far before Josh the <laughs> yeah, sure. came and broke up everything. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> only partly kidding. Cool. It looks like it looks like El Rosa has arrived, everybody. So we're going to get the next match started in just a moment. Yeah, it's 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 fun, though. Ice Wolf, I guess that's part of it, right? You're supposed to die. Like one boss, I died for like two hours or something, and then I finally beat it. But I was very happy when I won. Oh, oh, you're so playing he, Art of Fighting 3? SK will be happy. Yeah, crazy, right? He was playing Art of Fighting 3. That must have been fun as hell. Oh my god, Tezzerak! Thank fun. you so much. Thank you, Tezzerak, with the big 106 Aeons. Appreciate it, my friend. All right, the players are coming for the match right now. I'll make a, a skull bet for you guys and all that in just a moment. This is Loser Semis. It's going to be El Rosa. And El Rosa is mm -hmm. going to be up against Lapis. Is it Lapis? Lapis? I don't even know. I'm not sure how you say it, but Lapis. they are going to be competing. We'll see them shortly, all right? Y'all stick around. Don't go too far. I'll set up the skull bet for you guys in just a moment, all right? Let's get ready. Oh, that reminds me, by the way. Just by hanging out in the chat, you guys get the special skull currency for the bet. We call it the skull coins, all right? If you want to get more skull coins, you can click on the little boxes that show up in the chat every now and again while you're active. And, of course, if you want to get even more skulls, subscribe to the channel. You support the prize pool. You get the cool icons. Mm -hmm. And you get even more skulls. Hell yeah, support the stream. So spooky yeah, while we wait. SNK said, you know, they announced these games that were coming out, and, you know, they're like, oh, KOF and this. And another game that we haven't announced yet, you know, they Oh, yeah. That up. What was up with that? That was the most strange way right? to announce a new game. They were like, yeah, so on so this engine, we have this, and we have King of Fighters, and we have some games that we haven't told you about yet. Right? But they didn't. <laughs> is, it, is it a fighting game? Like, is it Garo 2? Is it Real is Bout it 3? I want real about three, but I would be happy for Garo too. But or is it Metal Slug? Is it Turf Masters? What is it? I'm thinking Metal Slug. SBC Chaos Two. Oh, don't. Oh. What do What do you want, Aru? What do you want? I mean, I, I, I. What I want is probably another fighting game. But what I think it is is it's probably going to be Metal Slug. Hey, that's cool. I'm down with that. Yeah, I, I love Metal Slug as well, so I'm, I'm okay with it. Yo, World Heroes Three. I'm with that. I'm with that. Arena mode, but make it battle arena world heroes. 99 Mudman, so let's get it. All right, but KCO Pedro, aka Lapis, on player one side against Abri El Rosa. Bring the Kukri out, nice. Yeah, so we saw him running Kukri earlier in the tournament, and then he switched off to Kula, so I, I think these two probably play each other a lot, so he probably feels that he might want to run the Kukri against Lapis instead. Hey, sometimes you gotta play the player matchup, you know? Mm -hmm. Still information nice on the table. Oh, hey, good enough. confirmation. Great combo. And the piece, he's just been playing phenomenal with Luong today. The yeah. set play's been on point, good neutral, good block string. It's funny, like, uh, I usually know him for his Benny Maru, but his long really has been kind of the star of the show today. Oh, but this could be bad. Gets the knockdown? No, never mind, he messes up the combo, unfortunately. It's a reset, stays in the corner, very nice. Keep the pressure on. Good defense so far from Lapis. Uh oh, big chance here for El Rosa. Nice challenge from Lapis, though. 
Oh, damn. Yo, Slam Town, I'd take that offer, but I'm just gonna pick Jack and mash two buttons while dashing. Oh, man. They're talking world here. Ooh. The whiff fun is from the start. Okay. That's beautiful. See, OTG, you know, he uses this to keep him near the corner, but Benny Mara just holds right out. Try to jump in, but no. Recovered yeah. in time. And he was ready. Good trade oh, there. Big jump to Burke. Yeah. Great air to air. Oh, wow. What a great roll. For, no, again, dropping the combo. Both these guys dropping a lot of opportunities. Nice punish on the early jump. Punch. Good pressure so far from El Rosa, but also just as good defense. Never mind, Lapis taking the trade. El Rosa comes out on top. Gotta watch out for the dinosaur. They just announced new Jurassic Park, so you know. It's getting the power up. Nice, jumps over the fireball, gets a big combo. It's gonna hurt. Gets the hard knockdown. I think he's gonna keep him in the corner. Yes. Wow, great taco. Okay, chooses to spend three bars for this combo. Oh, never mind. Chooses to spend five bars for this. But wow, just rolled right out of the setup. Good DP though from Lafayette. Getting the chip out there. Just wanted to hit anything. Was like, yo, go to the sky or I'll chip you out. And I'll hit you there too. Oh, Magician Lord 2. Yo, I like you. I wish that in the reality. Good jump CD. El Rosa now on his last character, so this is an anchor matchup, but Lapis does only have one bar now. Nice what a DP. reversal. And Ralph had four bars. That could have been death. Oh, yeah. Been. Oh, hold on. Oh. This isn't going to be even awesome. going to the climax, but okay. yeah. She... Oh, not enough. Yeah, just barely not enough. Ah, but punishes the roll. Good stuff. Yeah, I think Lapis was expecting a chip out attempt from El Rosa, and El Rosa just uh, opted to just stay patient and wait for the roll. Yeah, I mean, the patience paid off. Like, honestly, even if he if he made him block that DP, same opportunity would have arise there. So, you know, just walling up with the meter was the power play. That was a pretty That's exciting first game, though. I, I'm liking the, watching the set. The chat is wishing all the best SNK sequels in the reality right now. I, I appreciate you all, chat. Say it all in the reality. Nice. Both these guys are trying to look for an opening right now. Great air to air from uh, Alyssa. Oh, Big what chance. a punish. It's the crumple, what do we got? Taking her into the corner. The reset, but what a great challenge from Lofty smashing that uh, stance C. His input on the pinwheel, that's unfortunate. Now he finds himself in the corner yet again. Good block. No full punish. Kukri in with the EX. Oh, thought down it was his C. turn. Yeah. Down C, though. Kukri down C. Very, very fast, long range button. Also comboable. So, very, you gotta really watch out for that. Yeah, he moves in. Oh, low. Good damage. Chase okay. down on the roll. Not the first time, but gets on the second. Looking at a pretty even match right now. This uh, El Rosa Dino, though, I gave that Benny Mar a lot of trouble last game. Wow, great cross up and was able to convert, but doesn't complete the combo, unfortunately. I like that double overhead that uh, Lapis has been using. Oh, 
No, it's been really good. For sure. Nice roll, but no punish. Dido on the move. Nice splat. Nice back A. That was so good. Yeah, the utilization on the juggle frames, I like it. Good reversal, though, but it still takes some damage on the way. Great jump he Catches that large hitbox on AOD. Oh, scoop. No health here. Yeah, the closeout with the crouch A. Punishing the back roll attempt. Good stuff. El Rosa now looking at Lapis' anchor character yet again. Yeah, good spot for El Rosa here. This is still two out of three. Nice. Here's the armor command grab. Blows it up. No punish on the crouch dust. I mean, D. <laughs> Too much gear. <laughs> nice taco, but again, the KOF 15 nerf coming into play. I get no hit stun on that thing. That's unfortunate. But either way, Lapis manages to clean it up. I mean, gear got the same button layout, all right? My punch below the kick, all right? Same shit. Ooh, nice Rekka. Can't believe it. Nice, yo, that Shatter Strike was so smart. All right, makes him hurt. Gets the knockdown. Okay, that was an interesting setup. I'm gonna have to steal that. Nice. Hey. I like that. Brought in. Oh, the jump CD. Ralph making moves. Doesn't want to hand this off. The sweep in the corner. What nice. a close seat. That was so good. Lapis has been doing really well using the close seat to uh, shut down El Rosa's approach attack. Oh, Great yes. bait. Great respect there. You know, there wasn't much for Ralph to do, so you know. I like that also he, some slack there. he jumped right outside of the reversal throw range too, it looked like. So that was just mm -hmm. the perfect, perfect option from Lapis. Yeah, I mean... This character wants to do stuff. <laughs> Don't let him. Right, the one to one here. Select members. Yo, Savage Leonidas. Thank you so much for the 18 Aeons and welcome back to the Skull Army. One dollar to the pot. Select order. Okay, so El Rosa now uh, taking out the Kukri and adding Joe. It's gonna be a point Joe. I, Sal's, you still gotta give people time to adjust to the system. We still aren't seeing people use Stratter Strike, even overseas, you know, because they're so used to other neutral that they've been doing for so long. It's only been like a week. You know? Yeah, so you, like got, you really got to remember. It, it feels like it's been a lot longer than that, but it really has yeah. been a couple of weeks. And, and this game is very deep. It's going to take a lot of time for people to really optimize everything. The raw max can be applied to Benny Maru's with the uppercut, though. So we might see that more long-term in certain matchups. So. Oh, tried to get the uh, combo there, but no EX meter. I kind of like this decision though to to pick Joe into a long because I personally, as a as a long player, it feels difficult for me to play along with the fireball characters. She's got a really floaty jump bar. And Joe just gives my team problems. It's hard yeah. to open him up. And he has great buttons. And the fact that he's plus off of A fireball strings now makes those buttons win even more in scrambles. So it's hard. Big jump for El Rosa. This is going to hurt. Never mind. He drops it. He shits damage too. <laughs> he does. Oh, that's, that's punishing. Ooh. Could have got a lot more, but. Yeah, that could have been the moves. Nice air to air from El Rosa, and this joke pick is looking like it's doing pretty good, but I mean, this this next character is the problem, though, right? Yeah, definitely the problem. <laughs> Benny has been doing so much for Lapis, Pedro, however you want to call him. My man's just good. Good attack. Nice, oh. Raijin Ken catches the scythe kick attempt. Tying it up. I know the Colorado scene getting hyped for the boy. Of course. Lapis, of course, uh, one of the pillars of the scene over there, as far as I know. F oh. 
Dino damage. Got right out of that setup. <laughs> yeah, that was smart. You don't want to be anywhere near the corner against KOD, man, I swear. Nice, air, air. Jump. nice rollback though from uh, Rosa. Yeah. White. Stays in front. Wow, but Again. tries to jump out. Pull it's out quick of meter. I think that was a pretty interesting decision to let him out of the corner because uh yeah, any just any small trade like that would have been able to take it, so I think that was fine. Yeah, it's hard though to stay that on point in a set like this, especially on the final game. But still made the most of it, holding on to the sleeve. That's right. He's got the four bars though. That's true. This is a really scary situation potentially for him also, but not if he's the one doing the combos. Yeah, Lapis got to know how to spend this right. He could make this easy for one character and fight back honest, or you know, put the pie and fight more honest neutral here. Yes, yeah, splitting the pie. Good jump out of the EX command grab attempt from Lapis, and now Rosa making him pay. Great air to air. That jump beat, oh my uh, lord. Dude, he did jump beat three times in a row, and every single time they hit. That should be it. You're Rosa. Oh, that was godlike. That was so clean. So El Rosa now going to be advancing over Lapis into the Losers Finals where he's going to be playing against Juan KOF. Yo, let me get some Pog Champs chat. Yep. Hey, so real quick, real quick, fellas, while we set up for the next match, the signups for the PC event, I just linked it in the chat. The signups are open if you want to compete in next week's PC tournament. Uh, It's in five days. So. Oh, Friday. Well, uh, sorry, I, I, I heard Friday as Friday. I'm stupid. But anyways, Friday coming up. Sign up if you want to play and compete. Uh, so Mexico is not in the regions to enter in the tournament. But if you're from Mexico and you want to play, uh, please reach out to us in the Discord or to the admin team. And we'll, we'll check you on a case-by-case -case basis to see if your connection will work for the tournament. All right? So it's not an open to Mexico tournament, but we'll try to get some of you regulars in there. So look forward to it. Uh, click on the link if you're interested. One more time, I'll throw it in here. Uh, and yeah, if you guys want to check it out, come in and compete, all right? And yeah, that's pretty Word, much it. So we're going we're gonna to live the next one if we have it ready to go. Uh, and if we can, then we're going to be losing losers finals in just a second. Yeah, we got the North American bracket. So if you are from Mexico, get that speed test. Get checked out by our, our professionals here. And hopefully we can get you in the bracket. Yeah, so check out the link in the meantime, everybody. If you want to play, I know a lot of people were asking all night about when we were going to have uh, something available. Yet. Cool. All right. Next one we're jumping into it. This is Losers Finals. It's three out of five. Enjoy the skull bets. Thanks for all the subs and thank you for everybody else. Everything else. Thank you, Aru, and a thank you, Nerd Josh. Appreciate y'all. Have fun, everybody. Enjoy the Losers Finals. Hey, anytime. Yeah, man. I know this dude, Aru, loves KOF, and you know I do too. And I love you, Spooky. So I'm glad to be here. Thank you. All love, guys. Love you too. Enjoy the rest. All right, yo, so we got El Rosa on player one side, starting Kukri on point this time, and it's going to be Juan KOF playing his point Chris. Get ready for a battle of titans. And Kukri's been doing some damage in this game. You know, in 14, we only had like a couple specialists that really showed the potential of the character. But in 15, I feel like there's at least a handful of people that have been doing damage with Kukri. That's true. I think uh, he got a number of really interesting buffs. Uh, a couple of nerfs too, unfortunately, but... The buffs, mm -hmm. I think, help him quite a lot more than they more than he was hurt. So, uh, I think a lot of people really rate him highly right now. I know Kazunoko is playing Kukri, so that's that's uh oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know he's got something going on. Uh -oh. Kazunoko's playing. Him. Nice punishes the landing recovery, and okay, good tech from Hong Kao gets out of the corner, back to neutral. Overhead. Wow, that was such a tricky sequence, but that was a good roll from Honko to avoid it. Wow, that cross up too. Yeah, Rosa just being so crafty here and how he's getting his hits. Oh, was feeling the conversion, but it didn't matter. 
At least sail in the seven sands? I don't know. <laughs> Damn. Oh, here we go. Okay, Juan Kao finally gets something started with this Chris. Let's see what he's got. It's a safe jump. Goes low. El Rosa was standing up yet again. He was standing up. Oh, and he doesn't block the overhead. Very nice. And it looks like the pick's paying off here. Yeah. But we, oh, okay. Usually in 1KOF uh, has Yuri Anchor, right? At least on all the stream matches so far. Yeah. Maybe, you know, going to losers was like, you know, I got to put my favorite in the back a little bit. Put Ralph there. He is a wall. That's true. So that, that max mode activation, I'm sure that was an accident. I think he was trying to buffer it behind his hope, but uh, you know, sometimes you make mistakes. <laughs> or maybe he just, you know, would rather play the mirror than Iori Ralph. Oh yeah, that, that could be possible. Nice conversion, John El Rosa. Sets up the sand clone. Working properly. Nice air to, er, nice anti-air there. Fireball chase downs. They're doing a great job of just wasting this timeout. Still gets the hit. Where do you go? Nowhere, bro. Right? Yo, Lordy, we're on PS4 this week. PC on Friday, we just announced. Be on the lookout for that sign. -up. Nice punish on the early jump button. Went for the empty jump throw, but El Rosa was ready for it. This is looking really bad right now for Plunk AOF. Yeah. Good roll yet again, though. Nice. And the set that play here, like, if you don't know what's going on, he will get these freebies. And he's doing an incredible job of just milking all this damage. Whoa, what do you do? The OCV, that was sick. They absolutely thrashed Damn. In that Prince of Persia over here? Yo, look at that smile. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, take his ass back to Snood, man. Yo, I want to know who Kukri's dentist is, though, because that smile is white as hell. <laughs> it's Luke's dentist. <laughs> okay, it's, so we got... That's just Luke. That's Luke under the claw. Oh, you think so? The gigantic <laughs> yeah. biceps or whatever? He be hitting. He got them loops, man. I don't know. He be hitting kind of hard. That's true. Need snood. It's like fake puzzle bobble. We had it on my school computers. S N O O D. Just a bunch of faces. Okay. You play puzzle bobble. That's Neo Geo. Okay, I went with Dolores. So we're gonna hear the special, the special Kukri versus Dolores rivals game. I think that one's sick. I like that one a lot. It sounds like a Castlevania it's theme. It's about to be a party up in here. Yo, the Dolores pick. Uh oh. Yo, just hit mad C or D for me. <laughs> Both those normals are so good. Round one. Ready? So I don't think we've seen Song KOF play Dolores yet on stream today. No, I don't think so. This is the first time I remember it. That's a pretty common string where like they do a block string into the, the fireball that sucks you in towards them. And yeah. uh, every single time El Rosa has done like a back dash or a back roll, so Hong KOF is really going to need to figure out some ways to deal with that. Oh. Air to airs. This is already looking so much better for Von KOF right now. Nice jump, nice throw. Good throw. Yeah, the Dolores switch. Paying off, pick a top tier. Oh, the cleanup though, Psycho Crusher. What? That roll was kind of crazy. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> jump CD, why not? That's unfortunate for Hong KOF. He used up two bars on that raw max mode activation at the end there. Uh, but, you know, not too bad. The life deficit uh, looking pretty insurmountable for El Rosa, but this is the character that OCV in last game, so maybe I should. Never mind. And we're tied up.
No, oh, damn. Wait, what song is this? Bro, that's what I was saying. It's the um, it's the rival theme between uh, Dolores and Kukri. Oh, so, like, really? Or something. Oh, I didn't know that. It's really good. Hell yeah. Nice. Tricky little reset from a Rosa's dinosaur. Nice, empty jump low. This is gonna hurt quite a bit. All right, I'll have to spend the meter. I don't think he's dead, no. Wait, yes he is, my gosh. Incredible, and not a scratch on that dino. That was impressive. Stand your ground, ready, go. Uh -oh. One's gotta do something, the pog champs are coming out. Oh, nice. Yeah, max mode, but the oh, drop! No. no punish, but gets the cross up. It's like it never happened. Gets the throw back into the corner. That reset yet again, connecting against one KOF. Oh! Yes, take him to the sky. I like it. Oh no, that basically. Incredible lead out. I think this could be enough. Yeah. Yeah. I love that move. That move is so sick. Damn, hit him with the Dino Bomb? T Rex your shit? Holy shit. Bro, El Rosa's dinosaur is just on another level. I, I don't think I've ever seen anybody play this character quite as well as El Rosa. At least not here in, in this hemisphere. Yeah, I was just going to say KOG. I got to give it to my boy as well. But those are the two that I always look for when I'm looking at the King of Dinosaur. But Valle, he's actually been on some Dinosaur Tip himself. Oh, no shit. Okay. I'm he sure. He definitely has a Valle ass team of Andy, Dinosaur, and Terry. So he got the Shoto, he got the Grappler, and he got the Party Time Shoto. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no kidding. I'm excited to see his growth. Yeah, no, I'm sure that guy's going to be a threat. I mean. Remember, he played Sam Show for like a couple months and then got top top eight of Evo. Hey, Evo, yeah, no, dude's a legend. Yep. Shout out to the Dino Army out there. Corner pressure time, though. That fireball is very plus, uh, especially done in the corner like that. So you got to be very good. Nice. That's, runs right up past the fireball. Like that. So hurt. Oh, what a conversion. Okay, good trade, trade for El Rosa. This is looking pretty bad now for Juan KOA. Yeah, and I mean, even with Dolores, you know, her normals were getting in, but El Rosa keeping advantage on trading and just whittling her away. Nice roll away. So hard to hit this character right now. Mm -hmm. Big air to air puts him into the corner. That's Ralph's turn. Never mind, just jumps right over. Wow! Just throws the uh, Shatter Strike attack. Oh, safe jump. Just a throw, but baits it again. Dude, Juan Teo is doing so many DPs right now. It feels like he's just on tilt against El Rosa right now. I mean, it's rough here. He's definitely succumbing to a lot of neutral, so he's trying to get his turn, you know? It happens. I feel it, man. I far C, no conversion. Kukri still on the block string tear. This basic, oh, oh nice. Whip punishes the stand CD attempt. And gets the taco. Great. This isn't quite enough. Is he gonna spend? Yes, he is. Yeah, the meter's still kind of even-ish, but with the two and a half though, a half, ooh. Dino time. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. Ready? Go. Yeah, just his awareness. The fact he knew he could swipe and block, you know? I mean, he does have the Garo cancels, he can. Yeah, he's got the brakes. Catches him. Let's see what we got. Okay, just goes for the damage follow up. Nice low profile. Doesn't have the bar to convert into a combo, though. Good block on the cross up. I... 
El Rosa stayed in front that time. That was really unfortunate for Juan KOF. And this is gonna kill. Gets the climb. El Rosa. It took him a bit. But he's erupting back into the grand finals to fight Yuri Koff here. But let's give it to Juan, you know. He took down many a legends today to get to where he was. And definitely rep the KOF moniker on his name. Shouts to Juan. Yeah, he played incredibly well, I gotta say. So good stuff to Juan, but also good stuff to El Rosa. We're gonna be seeing um, El Rosa versus Yurikov in grand finals coming up soon here. Yo, they are pogging right now. Yo, the one with the point? Yo, Solid Smoke, the pog with the point, with the Vegito point? Yo, that's strong. He's coming. Dino power. All right, so Yuri Kov in the building. One taking a quick break. I mean, sorry, El Rosa. You know, might have to take a get a, get some more water, use the bathroom. Actually, I'm gonna do that real quick. Yep, no <laughs> doubt. Hey, so really quick, everybody. Uh, don't forget that the signups are open. I mentioned this during the last one. You can sign up for the new PC event on Friday coming up. If you would like to compete, it's 8 p.m. Uh, just click on the link if you're interested check out the rules and all that good stuff and if you're already in discord you know what to do all right so join in if you want to compete and that next event like i said will be on the pc version so all you people out there looking for pc is there for you all right now not just that but don't forget to also check out that match arena really quick if you guys have just a second thanks to all of you we have over 445 dollars can i have some no seriously help them out Use all the goodies, use the sidebar quests. If you have just a moment, buy a shirt or donate directly from your wallet if you would like to help out the players tonight. And I thank you everybody for your support. It's appreciated. Thank you so much. And thank you one more time to the top donators. Your Lunger, of course, leading the charge. K97, Cornelius, Ice Wolf, Sir Bumblebee, Potato Player, Reformats, Slam Town up in there. Thank you, Slam Town. Lamb, thank you, Lamb. PJ Smooth. Sin Wave, all the subs of Team Spooky, thank you everybody. Free Zenny 2, Party Barge, and Tenor Clubs. All right, Chai. Anyway, like I said, stick around. We're going to start very soon. Once the players are ready, we're going to jump into it. Uh, and uh, yeah, good luck to all the monsters tonight. Thank you for all the support. Don't forget to also support and follow our league as well as Nerd Josh if you enjoyed them being with us tonight. No Xbox tournament. I'm sorry, Grim. I don't, I, no Xbox tournament. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I'm sorry, but would you, you know, Microsoft, yeah, exactly. Pay me, and I'll do an Xbox tournament for KOF. I'll do one for Guilty. Is Guilty Gear on, on the Xbox? I'll do one for that, too, for real. Microsoft, where y'all at? All right, everybody. We're going to start it up very soon. The players are like they're almost ready, all right? So y'all stick around if you want to see it. Hopefully, this is going to be extremely hype. It's the grand finals. Uh, Yuri Kov is coming from the winner's side of the bracket, as we remind everybody. So that means that El Rosa needs to win two sets of three out of five to take the tournament tonight, if I have everything down correct. And uh, yeah, good luck to both monsters. We'll see how this is going to go down. Looks like they're almost ready. On the last skull bet, let's see, you all had it for El Rosa. So here's the payout. On this one, reminder, you're betting on the, only the first set. Who will win set one of grants, all right? It's a three out of five. You let us know your choices are going to be El Rosa coming from the loser side of the bracket or Yuri Kov. Jump in there, everybody. If you're ready, here's your skull bets. And a good luck to the players tonight. Enjoy it, everyone. All right. So, I don't know if Nerd Josh is back yet, but we got some No, all good. I'll chill with you if he's not okay, back. Sick. No worries. So, we got... Cool. Oh, there we go. Okay, we, Yuri Kov is on player one side, coming from winner side, of course, like you said. And El Rosa are going to be on player two side, uh, starting with Kukri. And uh, interestingly, uh, Yuri Kov is starting the Benny Maru against uh, El Rosa. So I guess uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Get ready for a battle of titans. It's uh, actually dropped the Yuri to put the the Benny Maru in this team. That's pretty interesting. Ooh, I have the side swept, by the way. Yuri Kov is player one. Bam, there we go. El Rosa's player two. Now we're all set. Enjoy it, everybody. Point versus point matchup. Round one. Ready? Go! Alright, so both these guys, I think they've probably played each other quite a bit at this point. 
Maybe not in this game, but they played against each other quite a bit in 14. So they're probably pretty familiar with how each other plays. Nice Seems air like air. El Rosa yeah. is using movement super clean, but then Doom Cobb seems to know the right times to reverse and stop any real pressure from happening. Mm -hmm. Nice punish on the landing recovery though. It's gonna hurt. Puts her puts him into the corner. Nice sand clone setup. But good evasion by Yuri Cobb. Goes low, that's gonna hurt. Could have actually killed had he done a better combo. It doesn't matter, gets the throw. Yuri Cobb up one round against El Rosa in this uh, grand final set. That was extremely close. Yeah, it was looking like uh, El Rosa's round for a bit there, but Yurikov made a couple of good adjustments, a couple of good reads, and that was all it took. Ooh, the hitbox on the splash is that good, huh? Forget about the fireball. Bro, it's a gigantic. You know those grapple hitboxes. That was, that was huge. Conversion for Yurikov. Building up a lot of good bar with this pressure as well. Nice air to air, but nice rollout from El Rosa. Yo, that stun though, that stun is flashing. It doesn't matter because the next touch is going to kill him. Great DP from El Yuri Cobb. Seems like Yuri Cobb has some, something a little different about his neutral compared to everyone else tonight. We see it especially against King of Dinosaurs, where El Rosa's King of Dinosaurs has been very dominant with the down light punch. This time he was barely effective. Yeah, so I feel like Yuri Cobb, one of his strengths is, is um, just his defensive play. He's really lame. He's East Coast, of course, so it's kind of in the blood. Uh, and yeah, you see that that DP, that DP was so good. Yeah. Benny. Oh, get a big punish. Oh, that's not good. Probably went for the EX, but missed it. Unfortunate. Their resilience here. Gets a sweep to, to even it up. Yeah, that Benny D uppercut has some of the worst recovery frames for an uppercut. You really got to make sure you make him pay. He makes you chase him that long, make him pay. All right. Cornered himself right off the bat. This could be kind of bad for your cap. Never mind, gets the throw, gets the cross up into the reset. Very common sequence that we've been seeing from Yuri Cop. Wow, downtown that catch. That's crazy. Wow, great check with the bar D activate. It's gonna hurt quite a bit if he chooses to spend the bar. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Damage. Not quite enough, even with the OTG follow up here, but he's got him in a good position. Went for the instant overhead, no dice, but doesn't matter, gets the 5D. And wow, just like that, just back down to the yeah. anchors for both players. Meter difference, though, and we've seen Mighty Kuhn can really make it explode with more than three bars, so gotta be careful. I wonder how Ralph's gonna approach without meter or just one EX, has to be sure. It's tough, but uh, his EX uh, quarter circle forward punch move is actually fireball invincible, so that could help in this match. True. Nice. Yeah, just checking that advance with that flash kick. Yurikov always on the ball with the uh, anti airs. Damn, for next cell battle circuit. It's looking like Yurikov has very strong control. El Rosa perhaps wants to give another squad a try. Yeah, so El Rosa has been playing a number of different characters all night, so uh, I wouldn't be too, too surprised to see him pull out maybe a Joe here. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe Kula even. Those are the two that I've seen him play so far. There's the Joe, okay. Joe. Strong, but you know, you don't want to jump around too much. He is in losers. He's not like... He's in the winner's side. Might as well just pick your strongest guns and run with it, you know? All right, so we got Joe against Luong. Uh, so we saw this matchup actually earlier. I think it was uh, Lapis playing against El Rosa. So El Rosa does have some uh, some practice in this matchup already, just from tonight. Okay. I want to see how that plays out. But Yurikov doing a really good job of just being annoying on the approach, you know? Finding these crafty ways in. Yeah, and oh nice. Guess. Did you see how he altered that jump trajectory with his uh, air wheel kick to, to make that DP whiff? That was so right? good. And it was just Stay as you were saying, he has spot. crafty approaches too, so that's like perfect timing for you. 
Though he's really good at staying in those sweet spots. Mm -hmm. oh, the stance cancels. Just taking apart the wall that is Joe right now. Great roll from Marissa. Uh oh, here we go. Gets thrown yet again. Gets hit, cross up, gets yeah, hit, cross gosh. up again. Yeah, nice DP. Had to. Oh. Big anti. Almost thought that could be converted. Great roll, though, from uh, Yurikov out of the corner. Caught the low Bs, but no full combo. Now the zoning game here. What an nice anti air into the super. It Thank works. Oh, oh, just the pixel. Oh. All right. That was really well played by El Rosa, though. Really capitalizing on the openings that he got. Yeah, for a second, I thought he kind of stumbled there, not going for a DP right away, but, you know, was able to close it with the Crouch B. Very solid. As EX Slash goes through the fireball. Oh, the CD's so solid. Great lead here, but the reversal. Clean up. Benny in the building. That was a lot of bar they spent for that, but either way, it doesn't matter. You got the Joe out of the, out of the picture. And now we've got Ralph coming in. This is a problem. Tim, how many different colors of Diesel Jeans this guy own? <laughs> oh, cross up. Yo, I kind of miss the old Ralph where like he was just wearing regular ass jeans. <laughs> it wasn't quite as brawlic. Got the cargoes. He's in there now. Nice Ooh. throw. Okay, into the corner. Uh, Yurikov can actually get something started here. Nice. Stan D just shuts it all down. Ralph was just like, yo, Guilty Gert got belts. I got pockets now, yo. Putting shit everywhere. Maytank Kun, this character, I think, has been uh, the kind of the star of the show for, for Yurikov, I think. Because even when he was back on like his last leg, I feel like this character clutched out. <sighs> Trying to call Fireball out, but... Yuri cough. Nice standee there, but yeah, this charge punch game getting so much damage off of it. Nice punishes the roll attempts from uh, El Rosa. Wow, that was kind of a strange EX fireball to throw, but okay. If anyone's gonna take anything from this tournament today, got a lab what to do about charge punch, man. <laughs> Yeah, Yuri sure. definitely getting away with so much and making people just straight jump in the damage. Nice, hit him with the last slash. Hey, nice throw. Staring at each other. Nice hop over the fire. Oh no, gets punished. Hold right out of the overhead. Nice jump beat. Yeah, punished. Yeah, great follow up. Yeah, you can delay that fire follow up and try to and blow up any punish attempts on the first uh, hit. Oh, that was beautiful. That covers right. both options. That was so smart. I just get that guaranteed damage quick, and he still has more bar. Might be able to just level actually. one if he comes across this again, but the armor on the sea grab. The that dino was so clutch. Smart, it. dude. Wow. You know, for a moment I was like, I don't know, man. Yurikov kinda got the weak one plan down, but here, El Rosa just coming from losers. The switch. It worked. All the pod think... chants going off in chat right now, dude. Joe didn't do so much more, but he did enough. Yeah, I agree. I think he did fine. He did win the point war, right? So, yeah, get them pogs in, chap. Dino height. Nice stance, CD. Whips the uh, OP. Unfortunately, finds himself in the corner now as a result. Nice gets the overhead. The mall. Yeah, El Rosa doing really... Oh, blocks the overhead, but no punish. 
Misses the, the, the firm there, unfortunate. Now, but he does have Joe in the corner. Oh, just taking one straight EX hit. So far, uh, Marco hasn't, or sorry, Yurikov hasn't been able to get the knockdown and really start playing the game that he likes to play with so long. So that, that's really been hurting him. That was a really nice conversion there. And with the corner opportunity, it's going to be hard to get a hit. Oh, yeah, the whiff. Didn't get the full conversion, though. Yeah, the crouch beat didn't no combo. I mean, it gets like this. Nice poke with that down C. You get deep in the grand final set, you know, the scramble start happens. One drop leads to another. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great DP. Ooh. Another man, that's kind of brave. <laughs> oh, let's go. Reversal climax. Hyper lightning beam. Let's go. He loves to do that, man. Waits. He just waited the entire round for that one fireball and blew it up. But that's that kind of sucks because he has no bar now against El Rosa's three. Where did he learn that from? Thunder God Sid. He's in Final Fantasy Tactics. Cheap ass chain lightning. Oh, wow, that DP loses a lot of it lost a lot of horizontal range in this game, so you gotta be careful when you use it. Uh. Nice pressure sequence from El Rosa, but Yuriko finds a, an opening and gets out. He's just waiting out with a flash. Or slash. That's my face. Nice. Close seat. Just Ralph pressure, just overwhelming Benny here. Mm -hmm. All right, but yo, we got May Tang soon coming. In. Uh -uh. Oh. Nice punish here with the max. Straight the climax. No. Oh, he dropped. I think he, that might have been a drop, right? I mean, he could have got a level one at least, but yeah. Wow, whiff punish is the far D. You don't normally see that move get whiff punish. That thing's so fast. Nice CD anti-air. Just keeping the pressure on. The wait out. Oh, big punish opportunity, but doesn't take it, unfortunately. Wait. Oh, wow, out. just supers. Oh. Nice medium, the EX fireball. That should be All it right, your clutch. Doesn't want to lose the tie here. Oh. Oh. oh, wow. Just jumps right over the fireball and lands on him with that jump B. And this is going to hurt quite a bit. Got oh. Nathan Kuhn in the corner now. Oh, yo, scouted. That was Dino so damage. good. I love the way, yo, you saw the way he like delayed that. He like waited for him to get up and then did it after he start, already started jumping. That was so smart. El Rosa had the read for sure. Yeah, you can't count him out yet. The Dino, he's not the last one. Denver, get the hell out of here. K.O.D. baby. Okay, so we went back to character select. Yuri Top might sub in the Yuri again. We'll see. I replaced the long, honestly, because the long I felt like didn't get that much done last game. Okay, subs out the Benny Mar instead. Yuri. I mean, I've been getting a lot of mixed thoughts about Yuri in this game. Certain Yuri players I know think she's awesome. Others, nah. I just know uh, from playing Magada, she be doing damage off the EX Demon Flip combos. Like yep. she can do a quick, easy Half Life pre super. So I'm not sure yet. Maybe needs more development time, but yeah. I, she's got some very redeeming qualities. She so she lost a hard knockdown on her command grab, which hurts her a bit. Okay. Um, I think they nerfed some of her normals as well, but like you right. said, she does just ridiculous amounts of damage. Yeah, the demon flip reset, air resets do a lot. Fireball game still solid. 
Yo, thank you, Reynold, for the raid. You got Yo, Reynold. Thank you. The god. Get the god. Yo, we got uh, Yurikov now starting that point, Yuri. Not doing too badly against this Elrosa uh, point, Joe. Nice anti air with the down C, but just back into it with the Dragon Punch. Keeping Yurikov in the corner here, not even letting a roll get through. Beautiful play so far. There he texts. Oh, oh, wow. Blocks it, but doesn't get a full punish. This might hurt him. Still keeping Yuri contained in the corner. They're very nice. And at that range, you know, those fireballs can be plus. It's really hard to deal with the follow-up. You show respect. Your normals Good. don't work, you know? Nice sweep. The it's tech, though. Great pressure sequence. Oh. Wow! Blocks great patience. All right, yo, we got El Rosa's Ralph coming into play against Yuri Kopp's Yuri. Great huh. sequence. Wow, what a Infernal. block. That was so tricky. That looked like a yeah, cross right? and then stayed in front. Yeah, props. The read out here. Guard bar's not really in check yet. But the throw, it's hard to cross this girl up. Nice air to air and the great conversion from Yuri Kog. Yeah, some quick and easy damage. Jump CD. Keeping the fireball game on just for the spacing. Really wasting the time as well, but oh! I think it's really smart how Yurikov is wasting a lot of time because El Rosa now, even though he did win this round, he's not going to get quite as much life back, and that's really important. Um, yeah, it is super important. You know, getting people under 30 seconds so that, you know, the life gain doesn't straight up give them almost half health. <laughs> that's true. Uh, but now we got Yurikov's uh, long. Let's see if he can get his game plan started here. So far, not looking so good, but we got a drop from El Rosa. All right, but Ooh. El Rosa really doing his best to keep... Oh, here we go. Got the knockdown. Went low. Good defense so far from El Rosa. CD throwing again for the culture. Oh! Wake up throw, baby. We guilty you now. Nice challenge from uh, Yuri Kong. Ouch. Good cross up. That was great. Ralph out the building, you know. He's a friggin' wall. You gotta watch out for that guy. But KOD has been doing all the damage here. All the Pog Champ monsters. Oh, they're, they're up there already showing up. Nice jump back air to air, and another great air to air from Yurikov. This is looking really good. Controlling a lot of space with his air buttons. Gets the cross up again, although it wasn't ready for it. This time drops the, drops the combo. Nice low hit. Confirms it to the EX. Max conversion on top. Where's the cherry? Here it is. Oh, no super. <laughs> but damage. This is just cool. This was that was such a great sequence so far. Oh no, this could be this could be really bad. Oh no, the two A. But man, El Rosa now uh, down to Yurikov's final character, the Meitan Kun. But it's gonna be difficult. I mean, it's a grappler against a hard zoner type character. Yeah, no, just the approach on this alone. But you know, if he can get him once, you know. Has the armor tools to be annoying on reversals. Just needs reads. That's true. Oh wow, just right. jumps right in with that jump B. That seems like the most important tool for this matchup is if he's following the fireball like that, just hit him on the way down. Oh, nice the scoop! That that life. Reversal. What a great jump. Gotta work it back in though. Yup, nice use of the 2C air check. Keeping it on with the air game here. Great patience being displayed from El Rosa right now. Oh my goodness, too much patience. We got 30 <laughs> seconds left. Not very much life to play with and gets hit. My gosh, Yuri Legs. We've got 2-2 two, two now in this grand final set. Yuri threatening tournament point right now. 
damn tied set first set are we going to shin grand finals are we going home early what do you think chat Yeah, let if us you know. think Yuri Kov's gonna win, mash some resident sleepers for me. If you think El Rosa is gonna win, mass, mash those pog champs. I feel like El Rosa is generally gonna be the crowd favorite because just because, yeah, exactly. The dinosaur, man. Everybody loves the dinosaur, dude. I don't know. I, I'm old. I need an orthopedic. I'm with the sleepy kid, but you know, the dinosaur <laughs> is cool. Can't lie. I'm torn. All right, Yuri Kov playing that, uh, you know, the patented Yuri zoning style that he does where he just jumps around, throws the fireballs, and then every once in a while he goes in for the cross-up jump D. Nice conversion. And Yuri Kov's putting it on. Ooh, nice fireball. Jump right into it. Like right there, you know, you block these fireballs at a certain range, they're plus, and then far D, there's no way it's gonna lose. Great guard cancel there, he gets a knockdown, let's see what he's got. Good pressure, nice tech yeah. from El Rosa. The wait out, ooh. Great air to air, now this is looking pretty bad again for Yuri, now that Joe has a lot of space to work with. Just the air hit. Let's her rip in the corner, but can't stop her. Gets the throw. Nice tech. Party check. Gets the jump CD. Keeps the fireball game on. The wait out and bet it wow. all. I'm glad that last hit killed because that I would have. I was about to yell at him if that if he had done that whack ass combo and not killed with it. Well, I'm surprised because you know Yuri has been taking these moments, but not usually like post block string. You know. Hey. Nice DP. All right, El Rosa tying up the score. It's looking neck and neck in this fi potential final game of this grand final. True. Ready, go. Bring it to the end. I want more games, personally. Yeah, I love watching yes. these two players play. Oh, wow. Max mode. Climax. It's going to hurt. Sephiroth. Oh. Go up in the Nibbleheim, Ralph. <laughs> Okay, nice tech though from uh, Yuri Kyle. Ooh. Oh, no big cool punish though. Yeah, both these guys I think playing a little bit nervous right now. Nice stand B, check it. Oh, big opportunity here for Yuri Kyle. All right, chips him out, good stuff. And now El Rosa on the verge of resetting this bracket. And that huge Ralph lead. This is going to be hard. But Yuri Goff has shown some great comebacks today. Yes. Especially with this wall of a character. Yeah, it feels like a lot of people have had a lot of issues getting in on this Nathan Kuhn. And honestly, El Rosa, no exception um, in certain games. No, I will be labbing next week how to fight this character. Sure. <laughs> nice block on the run up. Nice. That was so good. He was charging while he was jumping forward. Again, charging while he was running. That's a KOF trait. You can, uh, when you run, you input forward, forward, and then start holding down forward, and that'll continue your run, but you're also holding down while you're running, so you can flash kick out of the run just the way that Yuri Kong did. And now we're down to right. the final anchors. And, you know, spending that meter might not be so bad in the case that, you know, might have the natural matchup advantage here. But the throw, oh, wow. Great challenge from La Rosa. Has him in the corner, Great but block. blocks the overhead. Oh, that strive paid off. Great challenge with the dash punch. And now, dude, it's looking like anyone's game. This is really exciting stuff. You see? Great air Checking to air. Him, but the grab jumps again. Baited it, but didn't get a great punish out of it. But it doesn't matter. Get to reset back to neutral. And now this this dinosaur, this lumbering gigantic dinosaur, gets in and gets the command grab. Getting closer to that tied match here, and he has two bars on the table. 
Yuri does have an EX, and if he does get one of these juggle fireballs, can add some damage as well. Oh my gosh, such a dangerous position to be in right now if you're Yuri Cop. Anything could happen. Oh my god. gets the grab. Two bars on deck for El Rosa right now. Any hit could be the left. We got 14 seconds left on the clock. The roll. 10 seconds. Chuck in the pillows. Blowback. Has to make it sing. Gets oh, the anti-air anti shatter, shatter strike. strike. No full, full conversion, but gets the grab. Can he bring it back? Three seconds. Can Yurikov do this? The blowback. It shouldn't be enough time. No. That was so good from El Rosa. And just like that, he actually manages to reset the bracket in the most butt-clenching final round possible. That was so sick. Yo, you said it, Aru, because honestly, if Yurikov decided to just go for chip two seconds prior to that, we could have had a double KO restart out of nowhere. That was wild. And we are going to the second set, people. Be sure to mash even more emotes and get those bets in. And you can still support the match arena if you think this shit's hype and you want to support the players. So El Rosa now staying with that same team that was doing really well for him before, so I don't see why not. Wow, Yurikov. Both these guys are playing so well right now. I'm so I'm excited right? we get to watch this. This is week one, but with rollback, I feel like everyone got a month's worth of KOF 14 release in one week. You know, everyone's playing True. their heart out. Whew, man. So who you guys like in the chat? Let me know. If you guys like El Rosa, let me see them. Then Pog Champs, if you guys like Yurikov, let me see the mating, or them resident sleepers. Yeah, the resident sleeper. <laughs> that dude's been sleeping for a minute. Ooh. Caught him trying to move. It's, it's kind of like Burn Knuckle, where like, if you're just moving, if you're trying to hop around, that move will just hit you out of the air and you'll feel like an idiot. It's just anti-neutral. Like you're trying to move, you're trying to hit a button out of distance. It's just good. Nice, hits him. But it doesn't complete the combo, unfortunately, for your job. Great DP from Arosa. Oh, pretty good, and wow, caught him trying to move with that slash kick. We were just talking about anti-neutral buttons. That was another one. Yeah, no, he got the same thing. It's just not the same hitbox, but it does this, a similar job. Mm -hmm. Yo, thank you for the subs as well, Zakovich and Pumpmaster Flo. Thank you. We're sending those dollars to the pot. That was a really great low profile. Wow, that DP. Where are you going, Joe? All right. Spends the meter, kills the character. I really got to yell at Yuri Pop for using these light gas combos, man. These, these long <laughs> combos, they hurt me. Sorry, he's a Milia player. He'll get them combos soon. You're right. Ooh. Nice low profile, punishes the landing recovery, but great EX uh, DP from El Rosa now. Back to neutral. Wait out, but still gets caught by the jump CD. Nice empty low. low yeah. I was like, man. Every time you miss out on a jump CD, when, uh, that counter hits with Ralph, I'm like, oh man, it's like a billion damage. Great stand CD from Yuri Cobb. Here we go. Nice bait on the EXDP. Wow, what a terrible punish. That's unfortunate. And now rolling out of the mix up here, but still getting caught up by the run up lows. Throw mix so up good. He ran point here. Nice yes. again, baited it. And uh, okay, that's all he needed. Okay. I was about to yell again. <laughs> as the Ralph, as the ex Ralph player, you know, I'll be yelling on the other side. All right, but yo, we got El Rosa's dinosaur. Let me see them pog champs, yo. Got the throw. Backdash. I think he was trying to bait out a reversal command grab. Pog champ. He's the slammer champ. He's going to take them all out. Has long in the corner. Nice jump out from Yurikov. Puts El Rosa in the corner with that combo. Nice, the delayed uh, cross up. Again! Empty jump command grab, you hate to see it. Oh, 
Damn. They're getting the scoops on. It's some good life to come back with it. You gotta watch out though. This girl yeah. hurts. And I mean, I feel like these fireballs, the angles that uh, the air fireballs cover, I feel like it might be difficult for El Rosa to approach. Uh, but it doesn't matter right now because he does have Yuri in the corner. He's chopping on it. TP Super. Now Yurikov making the moment here. Playing that mid-screen game. Nice block on the cross-up with the fireball. Getting the hit. Can't take too many of those further on. Nice conversion. It's gonna hurt. Converting off the low. Okay, chooses not to spend any bar. Keeps her in the corner though. Big opportunity for El Rosa. Nice jump back C from Eureka. It's so, so, so invul. You gotta respect it. Bro, that roll from El Rosa just now was so gutsy, but that might have put him back into the game. Oh. Nice! Especially that grab, and now at the level 2 meter, can he get the mix? No, but the tech keeps him in there. Anything could happen still. 2 meters on the board for El Rosa. Went for the anti-air shatter strike, but no dice. That yeah, was I mean, so close. It could have been an amazing play if he had more health. But, you know, I don't blame the guy. 14 seconds was like left on the clock and it was just coming down the wits and reactions. Damn. Ooh, wow. Okay, so we got Yuri Cobb actually going back into the lobby. I think he needs a breather after how close that last round was. <laughs> hey, I, it happens. It happens. Hope everyone's having fun here. Be sure to post this in your discords. Post it out on the Twitters. Tell everyone Grand Finals is on second set and it's friggin' crazy at the first week of NLBC. And we appreciate all 3,000 of you coming here to love the game. And I said I mentioned it earlier. It's been no bullshit memes. It's been none of that stuff that most game releases have. Y'all have been in here just straight up. Want to see some good ass matches and like in the game. So I, I want to appreciate you all coming here to like some KOF, you know? Much love, yeah. everybody. Likewise, I mean, it's, it's just been so great to see the community reception to this game. And uh, as a longtime fan of the series, I'm thankful for everybody that's shown interest. Um, this, this grand final set already is just, it's so good. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it nearly as much as I am because it, the, the quality of play here is just phenomenal already. Yeah, honestly, this is week one and we already have such a basis that even our up and comers that made it into the top eight have incredible fundamentals that last through multiple games. So I only see nothing but growth for this competitive circuit and I can't wait to see what KOF even has to come just on the first patch alone, you know, it's going to be interesting. Okay, Yuri Kov actually uh, had to take a short break, but he's back. We're back okay, at cool. it. Yurikov up 1-0 against El Rosa. Nothing will stop this show. All right, so we've got Meitan Kun on point yet again for uh, Yurikov and El Rosa going with that point, Joe. So I like it, not changing anything up. Yeah, I think they both have a good plan. It's just like, who's not going to mess up and just stay on point, you know? Round Who's gonna get a read ready? to skip a turn and not not fuck it up? <laughs> yeah, basically. Nice TP. Thanks for play. Great punish on the landing. Well, this fireball game again. Jumping. What a run up the row post that. Yeah, that was a psychic jump from El Rosa and it worked out really well for him. Gary Cobb ended up not spending any of the. Not ended up not getting anything for that meter that he spent. Mm. Great neutral jump key. Wow, but the fuck neutral button. <laughs> nice. I didn't know I'd go through fireballs like that. That's cool. Got him with the overhand. Him to the ground. Whoa, no punish. The wait out and yeah. Hey, is this the best Joe's Ben in KOF? Uh, he was. I know a Fatal Fury Special. He's top tier. In like 2000, he was like a godlike striker, right? Oh yeah, yeah, 2000, yeah. Him and him and uh, Seth Assist were busted, yeah. 
This might actually be the best Joe that we've seen in a trailer with Kylo, you're right. Possibly. He was good in 13. He was. He had the EXDP, the get deal with safe jumps. Ooh, nice. Good cross up. The bait out here. Went for the throw yet again, but El Rosso was ready that time. Nice punish on the slide with. Yuri Cobb now uh, has El Rosa down to a second character, but has no meter, so this is going to be a bit tough, because this is going to be El, uh, El Rosa's dinosaur. Oh. All these minor checks for the jump CD coming in. Great jump B goes over the uh, snake kick attempt from Yuri Cobb. Yeah, that cross up was prime. Ooh, what a CD. Dino Tail. I ain't talking about Upstate either. Ooh. Gets the knockdown. This could be very dangerous. Oh, wow. That was such a good read, but a little bit too misspaced. And that second hit of the sweep catches Yurikov trying to advance. Reach for the top. Ready? Go! Nice. Jump CD catches Yuri trying to uh, jump away. Oh! Did he go for the command grab first frame on landing? It will whiff if you do that. Yeah. Uh, or it could have been out of range. I'm not sure. Nice down C. Arosa really trying to close the gap. She gets in, manages to thread the needle. Let's see if he uses... No, he chooses to save the meter. Nice! And that's why he saved it. So that the next hit would be potentially lethal. I think this might be it. Yo, why is he so cool? Yeah, rub that shit. That was sick. Elrosa tying it up one to one in this grand final reset. The reptites, baby. No humans post Lavos. Bro, he said, um, set your sights on the ultimate prey. Is he talking about people? Humans? Yeah, people, yeah. <laughs> All right, yo, we're back in it, finally. So let's see who Yurikov plays. So this kind of sucks, like, all the momentum, I think, is all sapped, so they're basically starting from square one again. Damn, the one to one. Just the two out of three at this point? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess so. Select order. All right, we got uh, Yurikov playing Benimaru, Luong, and Yuri against El Rosa's team that he's been rocking, uh, Joe, Dinosaur, and Ralph. Get ready for a battle of titans. Damn, going into it. We are back. Let everyone know, folks, we are back. Let's get that 3K again. Yeah, yo, let, let your friends know if they, you know, close the stream or whatever, if they muted it. Let them know we're back in it. So uh, definitely keep, uh, c come back to the stream because this, this set is so good so far. Round one. Ready? Go. We got Benny Mar versus Joe on point. Nice challenge. Good swing. Ooh, nice bounce DP. back. He was just doing that. That was the third time in a row that he did that entire sequence. And uh, right. Yurikov was ready for it there. He's just going back, back, and forth. Wow. Seen a lot of DPs come out from both players now. Both really trying hard to, I think, establish uh, dominance in this first round. Oh, what a jump. And the EX, ah. it's so hard to get around, dude. I don't think it's possible to roll through it. I've, I've tested it personally, and I, I wasn't right? able to do it. Even when you reflect, the first fireball hits the second, and then sometimes you get punished. All right, this Joe looking pretty healthy against Long, but, you know, Long can, if she gets going, can melt your health bar pretty quickly. We've seen it a couple times already from Yurikov. Wow, 
Wow. They didn't oh, it crossed That's up. So crazy. Doesn't matter though. Uh, Yurikov got the throw. Nice defense from Alrosa, but oh my goodness, gets opened up. Doesn't complete a combo there, unfortunately. Go for a reset instead. The sweep. He's holding on to the lead. Looks like he's going to overcome the 30 seconds here, even if he loses Joe. It's going to be rough. Nah, low B confirm. Keeping the far D on. And these air scythe kicks, damn. This Joe is just running away with it right now, quite literally. Oh, the fireball oh. the shatter strike. He was trying he to have do, the health. He was trying to do um, climax there, but he got the shatter strike because the input. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. I'm just feeding for some Kara CD Shatter Strike tech. <laughs> Alright, we got some pressure. Nice, oh, that shitty. was a good stutter, stutter step there. Nice roll. Wow, El Rosa on borrowed time right now. Yeah. Just really running this Joe on the Magic Pixel. Just do anything to get him out, whatever. He's yeah, gone now. <laughs> Kawaii Akuma, I like that name. Nice Saiha oh, right here. Oh, it's Saiha, cool. Mm -hmm. Great jump CD, nice. This is a big opportunity. Oh no, drops the combo. Great re-jump. Gets the hard knockdown, what do we got? Chases the roll, the that was beautiful. Back. Right? And the meaty keeping it simple, but gets swung on. Great Crouch count. B confirm. Max confirm. Into the climax. We're gonna see him blow her up. Right? The dino damage. Oh. Make him go extinct. Great DP. That was such a, an interesting challenge. He just woke up, jumped forward, B to catch her in the air and then just command grabbed her. So now we have El Rosa up 2-1 in the Shin Grand Finals. He's on tournament point against Yurikov. And Roar. Yo, the chat is pogging. And the, the Magino points with the pog. Yo, that one is so strong to me. I feel like it's like King. He's like doing the throat cut and he's about to like fuck me up. I don't know how to break that grab. All right, I think uh, I missed it. Are they just rematching? Yeah, I think so. I think okay. it's just the long, the long load up. Yep. Uh, yep, there it is. Here we have locked in on this team now. Nice DP from El Rosa. Oh, the rollback, but no punish. Empty jump command, command grab. What's the setup here? Does the ambiguous roll, El Rosa rolls out of it. Gets the throw. Establishes neutral yet again. Damn. Nice trade though. Great. The reversal from Yuri. Again. No DP that time. Wow, what a great cross up. El Rosa was not ready for it. Really like Yuri just haul, turned dude. it on. Yeah, I think so. That Joe lead really helped out before, but it's gonna. We're gonna have to see Dino do that same work, the close. Great just defense, to bring though. it back. That was such a good hop beat. And uh, just like that, El Rosa now in a very commanding position here. Healing each other out. Nice punish on the slash. That was such a great neutral jump there. Back into the corner. Empty jump low. He's been getting people all night with that same exact setup. And here he caught right? no different. He'll get that EXOTG bite and then yeah. Empty jump low off the normal jump or super jump. Scary. Great air to air. Doesn't uh, punish the roll, unfortunately. That's pretty uncharacteristic of uh, Yurikov, because he's been pretty good about doing that. Oh, almost got the run under uh, hit guard there. Sorry, Gibby, don't kill me. 
Nice jump back D. Great air to air. And that was a great tech too. Both these guys making really great defensive decisions. He is just trying to space. Ooh, what a jump back in the cross up. Yuri Kopp making moves. Oh my gosh, these cross ups, bro. He's just playing Guilty Gear right now. That's Milia right there, right? <laughs> I mean, basically, shit. Where the disc setups, though? Yeah. I mean, El Rosa was looking a little bit overwhelmed there, but I mean, it's it's really hard to get into that rhythm. Uh, you really you need to earn the knockdown with uh, with Belong in order to get that, and that's why you don't see it every single round. You know what I mean? Oh, the oh, drop no. though, huge. Arosa's looking a little frazzled right now. Yeah, I mean, when you go for the level 2 cancel on the punch, you do have to charge it momentarily to get all the hits. That's why it's better off just to go for the kick super. Nice. I don't right, have the kick super. You just do roll short hop and you get an easy ass safe jump. Like, why not? All right, but now it's down to the anchors. Again, El Rosa is on tournament points, so if he can bring this back against this four-bar Yuri, uh, he could take the tournament right here. Oh, slaps. Excuse you, sir. Building some bar with that explosion, explosion punch. Oh, jump CD. It's that far D. He's at a point now where any hit from Ralph could hurt pretty badly. Nice. The four Pain bar cash out could be pain for Ralph, but Ralph can bring it back with just one super and a knockdown, yep. Nice tech from Yurikov. Great air to air. This is looking pretty bad. Oh! Yurikov on his last legs. Oh no, and he yeah. fed it all on that DP, and El Rosa actually taking it 3 1 over Yurikov in this grand final reset. Right? Incredible sequence there to clutch it out, and especially using the. Ralph Bomber at the end for the anti-anti-air and then getting him, you know, I don't blame Yuri at the end. He swung, but incredible grand finals. We had a little break along the way, but they kept it competitive, kept it going. And thank you to our two competitors here that have just keeping it great for our first week of King of Fighters. Yeah, no kidding. That was so good. I mean, I was not expecting the ties to turn so quickly against Yuri Kov in that final sequence there, but El Rosa really, it felt like he just turned it on and Yuriko just wasn't ready for it. Yeah, no, but I mean, it, it's still week one. And as these players, you know, enter more tournaments, play each other more sets. And as we figure out the engine even more, you know, we, we still haven't seen Shatter Strike really breaking down meticulously yet. And, you know, so many other examples. So I'm excited to see where the com competitive uh, narrative and everything starts going and which players start coming up week after week. So it'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah, so props so to El great. Rosa. By the way, I believe that means that El Rosa is a first time champion of any NOPC event. So that means that El Rosa also gets the, the special Yeah, top three payout for tonight. And also El Rosa gets the special gold name in the Discord. Congratulations, El Rosa, who's probably going straight to another tournament to play a match right now. It's probably not even looking <laughs> at the stream. But con yeah, but uh, yeah, by the way, I'll get you guys a link to that one too. You guys can check it out if you guys want to watch all the great matches that are happening now. And let me go find it right now on Twitter if you guys want to check it out. And uh, a big thank you to all the players and everybody else. I appreciate you guys. Y'all are all freaking awesome. That was incredible. Hey, so, so, Aru and, uh, and Josh, did you guys have a good ass time? How was that? Yeah, yeah that was great, dude. I love Fuck watching yeah. KOF at a high level, and these guys definitely delivered. So, thank you for having us on, man. Yeah, honestly, uh, I was surprised how much time went by. It wasn't until I saw Yurikov say they were tired that I noticed that it was 7.30 my time. So I was like, oh shit, I've just been having fun watching KOF. I've been no. loving this game regardless right now. So you want me to come on, Vic, and hold you down? I got you. KOF's fucking sick. And uh, if not, I'm going to just be cracking this game out, mad salty, enjoying the game, having fun out fellas well i kept you guys up in here for a long ass time so i do want to tell you all at home everybody if you enjoyed their commentary follow aru at aru lee you can check them out on twitch and on twitter just like you've been seeing all night 
and also follow Lord Nerd Josh. Thank you, Josh. And if y'all got anything you want to tell the homies, tell them to follow you, tell them to check you, whatever y'all up to. Hell yeah. Let them know what's up. Well, I wanted to tell them first to tell Aru to stream more. This dude's analysis is really fucking good. So if you're trying to get into SNK games, this dude's definitely gone through all the hoops and everything and played the majority of the game. So he can definitely get you started. And then uh, besides that, I've been streaming like a crackhead. Like I have like a couple, tw I have multiple 12 hour streams this week. So like, yo, come by the stream. Let's talk off. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, uh, like Josh said, just follow follow my Twitter, follow my Twitch uh, if you want to know what I'm up to. I, I do promise to stream a lot more. Everybody's been getting on my ass about it, so I'll do that. Uh, Vic, thank you for having us on, man. It's, it's really been a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, getting to see the tournament from this perspective. Uh, normally, I'm just helping out men, so, uh, you know, pretty great. No doubt. Hey, also, I can't wait to see men get good, you know, because he's yeah, man. filthy good at CVS, too. I can see him being scary in this game, too. Hell yeah. Seems like the type of game that rewards practice. How about that? We'll see what happens. Yes. All right, fellas. Uh, you guys get out of here. Have a beautiful evening. Enjoy whatever else you're up to. Uh, and I'm going to talk to you guys in the stream, too, fellas. Don't forget to follow them. Like I said, you guys, first off, check out cyanotic senku i put the link in the chat that's the remainder of their kof tournament it includes four or five good players are still in their bracket including el rosa who you guys just watched win the tournament so if hey. you want to see even more top level gameplay go check that out uh it's live right now as we speak uh what else is there arturo i believe right now is doing third strike so 